No, you know, I was thinking about it back in the day. It was, it, like, for at least people that do like movies that are like movie buffs, they'll watch movies. But back in the day, before, like, video on demand and stuff like that, I would watch a lot of random shit yeah. on HBO. Right. And all, all those movies that you would catch that you wouldn't normally catch because yeah. they were just the only thing that you could watch. So there's a ton of shit that I feel like I'm missing out on. You know what I mean? Like, those... Like Dutch, you know, like with Ed O'Neill. Oh, that was a great movie. Dude, yes. like shit like that. Like I would never watch that now yeah. because I could just pull up what I want to watch. You know what I mean? My no, buddy Drake, true. his mom had been recording movies off of cable for like 20 years. Yeah. And putting them on VHS tapes. And they had like a thousand VHS tapes. And each tape had like two or three movies on it. Oh, shit. And for just summers at a time, we would just, <laughs> she'd have them all ca card catalog, like all the titles. Yeah. And what tape number they're on. We would just pull a random card. Before he Find zero. a tape and throw it in and we would like mystery science or right, yeah. whatever the hell yeah. was on it. The clock and is we running. Saw, we, we, made, we went like on all kinds of I'm actor looking. Like I saw like almost all the Robin Williams films. I yeah. saw almost all the John Goodman's like all the uh, 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 slow Stanley Rainbow Kubrick Rainbow films. Rainbow. We would just Find shit after a long time. Right. And, just ran and, it, shit. and it's yeah. probably a ton of shit that today, if that was like the thing, like we wouldn't watch that unless we actually had a goal to like go out and yeah. do it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so I, I miss out on that. I was thinking about a YouTube channel where you just review nope. movies over. that you find in bins at like at oh, like Seven yeah. Eleven shit. That's yes. awesome. <laughs> you know, yes. I thought it would be a good Isn't idea. That the shit that, uh, that one that <laughs> used to do. Just get like really low budget films and just review them on there. Yeah. <laughs> So I got this place, big titty uh, gonk chick review. Sorry, yeah. sorry. That's no, awesome. No, I, I have done it too. I wasn't no. fast enough. The Dirty Dowdy Podcast is for an adult audience. The Dirty Dowdy Podcast may contain material that may be unsuitable for sensitive ears. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dirty Dowdy Podcast, doing it up into the year 2017 here in the Longbox.fm studios, brought to you, of course, and as always, by Riley's Brewing. Cheers. And don't forget, we started last week. If you were just tuning in tonight for what is going to be a fat, ridiculous show, you can get the bingo card and play along for a chance to win yourself a pack of liquid nitro energy drinks to get you started on the mornings. Yeah. Just go to the uh, the Dirty Dowdy Podcast Facebook page. There are 30 different cards there. If you want to be crazy, print all 30 up and start playing along. Obviously, we've already started past 7.15, so there's a freebie for you right there. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, you guys can hit us up throughout the show. You can call. The numbers are on the screen, but 492-0450. And I'm watching in the channel here if you guys are uh, wanting to chat along. So let's do this. Uh, yeah. End of the year. I have a plan for tonight. Uh, we're going to be having some fun. Obviously, we, we've come off the Festivus hangover. Uh, we did up last week's show, and this week it was kind of a race. Uh, part of the delay is technical difficulties. I, a room full of gear, and none of it seems to work when I want it to. Yeah. Much like a, a woman. And what? So, Trans not use their error on both fronts? <laughs> <laughs> Can't force it, man. Well, we it's got not a prom date. He's trying. He's trying. <laughs> I, got, I got something for that later, too. Oh, God. <laughs> but please continue. Well, um, tonight we're doing it, like I said, we, we got an awesome guest in. Um, he's actually been training me a lot. I've been working with him at New Rock 1041. He's doing double duty tonight, so <laughs> we'll be taking breaks so we can bounce out and go to our production studio. We've got that hooked up with New Rock, so he's he's doing it on both doing ends. Both. <laughs> doing both. Yeah. Night Guy Drew. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How about you? I'm uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. I got the jitters. Dude. I am thoroughly impressed by this setup. Like, I didn't know, man. I didn't know until I walked in. Now I know, no. You're going to get him crying. No yeah, one does. <laughs> this, this is a work of my life. You just made his Christmas. <laughs> no, seriously. I was like, I walked in, and it is uh, very, very legit. So kudos to you on that, man. Good on you. It's really cool. All my money has gone into this. As a matter of fact, I used uh, cardboard as toilet paper. So, I mean, we make certain sacrifices. All your money and your security deposit. Wouldn't it work better? Kind of like one of those little plastic things that you scrape, like, you know, brownie mix out of a bowl with. No, he's got the three shells. He's got the three seashells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. You got it. It'll work. I, w I will give this studio to anyone who can actually explain how the three seashells work. 
<laughs> that could be a whole like br- like you, think tank session. Are you saying you don't know how the three seashells work? He doesn't know how the three seashells. I work. don't think they knew how the three seashells work. There was just some production guy that said, "You know what would be a good idea? Three seashells." My mom collects seashells. Let's I'm gonna do look it. that shit up right now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We can cuss. Oh yeah, welcome. Oh, to I totally r- forgot about. Fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> bingo, bingo, bingo. No, no, no. dude. Bingo. Now I know. We I know. were on. <laughs> we were on. C-Mac. Oh, that's right. We're on C Mac. Uh, but that's okay. As, as the story has been told, they came to me and asked to put this on on television. That's and I said, you said, "You've no. been here. You know what we you do. Know what we say, right?" Like, and he goes, "Oh, that's all right. It's cable." I was like, "Well, fuck it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. You're paying for it. You're paying for access." Well, um, before I get into what we got for tonight, well, actually, I'll go ahead and do it, uh, Drew, because radio guy and, and you know how to sell shit. We got a game <laughs> going tonight called "Sell This Product." Oh, okay. oh goody! Um, okay. We've got we we've got our New Year's resolutions coming up uh, later on in the show. Again, if you listened last year, you know last year's show. By the way, we did the resolutions, GM more, the dance party, all happened in here. This year, we're going to do our our resolutions again, like the uh, things that you can actually do. So, not none of the fake ones that everybody says they do on Facebook on on day one. And then day two already broke them all, um, so we'll be doing that. And of course, I'm I'm knocking out a clam bake. But before we do any of that stuff, let's figure out what we've learned. Now it's time to showcase what we have learned in the last week. Hit me, Kevin. This song makes me feel like I just bought a hand job at a massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, that's excellent. I learned that that when Drew talks, I can't look at him because it just it, in my head I've never seen the face behind the voice. <laughs> Are you mystified by it? Or? It is. I'm having a hard time. Man. Or am I too animated? I'm just like Ugh. I keep expecting to see like my like my, my stereo speaker. Every time. <laughs> yeah. We should have just put him behind a speaker. Yeah, that, that would help. By, just cover my head. Put him in the box. Yeah, get you're not box supposed to have head. a face. <laughs> All right, Tony, what you got? Uh, oh, I learned that in Australia, they did a study and they found that on Monday morning, the average time of the first smile is 11.16. <laughs> well, how the hell do they figure uh, that out? I don't know, man. But they found it out. And I, I was don't like, think that's, they know either. That's appropriate because I fucking hate Monday morning. I think someone in Australia is lying to you. <laughs> uh, I'll buy it. Did you get it from the internet? Uh, I, I verified. I checked it like six times, on dude, just to make sure. You mean did you hit reload over and over again? <laughs> is that Does that not count? <laughs> <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Checking your sources. Yeah. Why? Why are you talking to me about computers and technology? I don't know. You're I don't Asian. Cody. <laughs> Cody. Is that where we're going already? Like, I thought you could like ease into that. What so, you, no. Wait. So what, what? What do you mean? Is that where we're going? No, this, yeah. is where we, this is where we live. Oh my yeah. God. This is where we live. Uh, That's why I'm here. Why do I? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that sounds sexy. I don't know who that is. Well, Brandon. Brandon Freeman. Uh, throw that sex on the mic. What did you learn this last week? Um, you know what? I had it in my head, too, man. And now that you're asking me, you put me on the spot. Um, man, it was so specific, too. All right. So, Drew, what did you learn this last week? Oh, this <laughs> last week? Okay. Uh, right what, now. like, uh, economically, socially, what, whatever. personally, whatever? whatever. Okay. All of them. I uh, I learned that uh, my input on how to uh, plan a wedding is not necessarily needed ever <laughs> and that if you had yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah no no if, if you let Yay. women just go ahead and like run with it like it all get done so don't fall into the hey what do you think about this? Just be like, I whatever you think. Yeah, you're not there to to Mm-mm. yeah. That doesn't to choose. You're there no. to agree. I I'm gonna fuck it up. Like like don't ask me because I don't like the aesthetics of like looking at things. I I don't know. Yeah. You don't know. I, I made don't one. Know. Guys don't know. I don't. I, I made don't one demand. I made one demand when we got married. That was it. I was like, we're not gonna have wedding cake. We're gonna have wedding pie. Oh, that's shit, nice. Dude, that. we yeah, wanted to do uh, damn it. cupcakes. We and I was like, cake. yeah, that's pretty good idea. Get everyone drunk because it's going to be like a party type thing. But yeah, yeah. no, nah, just keep my mouth shut when it comes to wedding yeah. stuff. Let them do it. She that's was what cool I that. She gave in, though. We had a three tier wedding pie. There was a pecan, a cherry, and an apple. Dude, that is now dope. That is yeah, not only this, but saying, what? Man. Most, most weddings in that's women's so heads tight. have been planned since they were 12. There we go. Like, as far as groom goes, you are like number 14. That's a very Generation X thing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. You know, That's where we are, though. Here, here it is, though. Like, in the, and this is one thing Not that I do, do appreciate God, about God the situation willing. is that, like, she's with me on the fact of, like, um, hey, like, uh, I don't need some big extravagant thing. So we've pretty much met and have done 
everything that that we need to to execute it if that makes any sense yeah, yeah, yeah. or a hey, cor- correction she has done everything that we need to do to execute it and i just pretty much show up right god and, bless you yeah god bless you okay. everyone and all i remembered what i learned i learned that, one i learned that there is a serious disconnect between what people think flights cost and what they actually cost oh yeah yeah, cool. anal probage is, is in the package too. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually not that bad, man. Like, do you have to tip for that? Like a, a flight to a flight to New York, or just to New York. It's like two fifty. Everybody told me is it was like five hundred. So, no, no, no. But everybody told me it was like five to six hundred. It is one well, way. That is no, no. if oh, you want to take any luggage with you. Yeah, that's yeah. where they get you. Uh, yeah, you know what? I never take any luggage with me anywhere. So no, yeah, then it works for you. Okay, well there we go. <laughs> uh, Kenneth, you said you got something. I have reasonable knowledge of how the three seashells work. Oh. <laughs> is this a, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is this a fan theory or is it like... Yeah. This is from is Stallone and Sandra Bullock. Sources. All right. They sources. All right. Cool. Apparently, it's a reference to an old joke about the same thing. A guy using the bathroom and not knowing how to use them. With the punchline, one shell steams water... Or streams water, one shell blows air, and the third is an automatic tampon remover. Fantastic. <laughs> Since he is male, there is a tug and a rip. <laughs> to which another person has to explain what the sound was and what the three seashells are for. That's the joke. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I don't get Actual it. Actual method is each I'm one, so each shell has to go under you as you go. Nope. With the exception of like one so using his I'm, chopsticks, is there a holding stick for him? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like do you stick your hand in there when it's going? Do Am you, I just crapping into a shell? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's basically the function of the first shell. Wouldn't that be the what they call a toilet? Pretty much, but uh, I future. think it's when you're done using <laughs> each of the three seashells, you throw them in and it disposes it for you. It, I'm not probably, buying any of this. Yeah, we probably have a, a, a pretty like a cultural disconnect because all the restaurants in De- Demolition Man were Taco Bell. Yeah, they're so all. So it Taco might make Bell. more sense that you need a water hose for every bathroom. <laughs> <trip>. <laughs> this is a this is a valid point too. <laughs> more like a fire hose, even I'm tiny sorry. amounts they're of Taco Bell. Women run right. <laughs> I'm a. Uh, <laughs> I was really nice. trying to decide if I wanted to say what I learned this last week or save it for later in the show. Um, I'm sure the three seashells. Wouldn't it be most seashell. relevant now during the what I learned in your, in your face? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, you just got Asian. Hey, well, what okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's something coming up later in the show uh, that uh, I'm going to be that that I, I was hoping more of our crew would be here tonight. Uh, I'm giving away too much already, so I'll go ahead and say it. Uh, this uh, this is going to be the final Dirty Daddy podcast. This is it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> the uh, the GoFundMe did not go as I was hoping, and it's time to get a real job. <laughs> So, boo, yeah. real job. This will be the the end of the Dirty Daddy podcast, and I got something awesome for later on in the show about that. Yeah, if you, you should have waited. I'm all bummed now. Uh, wait, hold on, damn. wait, but you know, hey, welcome, Drew. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh no. Have you ever said this before? Be real. Have you ever said it before? That, that, oh, I can't that, do this. Got to get the real no, job. Uh, yeah. What are yeah. you yeah. No, we, did, we did the end of the era once in 2013 when we were moving from the apartment to here, but it was actually, it was dead. Uh, it, it had been dead for a while while we were doing it. was like a relationship that you just went through the motions. Uh, so we never really said it was our last one other than in joke, but this is, I'm, I'm serious. There's going to be no more Dirty Daddy podcast after tonight. So if you guys are listening right now, I suggest you get on the uh, the Facebook and the inter- Twitter webs and stuff and share yes. this and enjoy. Let's have a good, good half a night tonight because I got some awesome stuff planned. I also believe that there will be need for Kleenex later. I tested this out. My son, as a matter of fact, spent a good portion of today crying. <laughs> After the, some of the stuff I put together today. So I'm going oh, for no. tears, man. It's going to be awesome. Right. Goodness. I'm going to take these pants off then. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> that went a different direction. Do you correlate taking off your pants in tears with one another? Uh, why not? No. <laughs> Someone's about to get Asian. I just figured we were just, I figured this was the last show. Fuck it. Let's go. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, Drew's going to fire off. Yeah. We're going to switch the mic over, and he's going to fire off a, a break. you got one coming up. And uh, we'll be right back. The Celebrity Clam Bake will be next here on the Dirty Daddy Podcast on longboxes.fm. Is, is this from Nitro, too? 
What? Is this your uh, clear, clear layer? Clear Why has it got to be black? I don't know. Clear layer on the second. It's black living clear. water. I don't know. And it's dark as fuck, too. You can't see through it. Wait, is it legit black, though? Uh, it's, it's not black. It's not purple. Or it's yeah. brown. Oh, yeah. The, the bottle's black clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's see. Is that purple or brown? It looks brown. Oh, no, I know it is brown. Right. Dude, I think it's purple. Uh, I think it's like purple super drink brown. would be more likely to get drank. That's oh, sounds like chocolate rich. milk. What other brown drink? Dark ale. Am I, am I good to smoke? Guinness? Like, what I'm drinking right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I good to go and hunt this down real quick? I'll take you like. Oh, are we already coming back? Oh, yeah, no, we're going to come we're back here right. in a second. Oh, okay. Our next after this segment. It's no. Try it. No. <laughs> no. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm searching for love. I want to do music because I know people need my music. People need Kanye West albums. My real apology to her will not come in the form of words. When people say that I'm not like an airhead and things like that, it's not true at all. All the stupid things celebrities do, it's the celebrity clan bank. Here we are, the Dirty Daddy Podcast, doing it up. Celebrity Clam Bake here in the Longbox.fm studios, brought to you, of course, by Rally's Brewing. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For the last time on the Dirty Daddy Podcast. <laughs> Let me guess, you're keeping the sponsor, though. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Don't tell them. It's just not going to tell Rally's. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. No, Longbox will still go. Longbox will still go. Um, so, yeah, of course, in, in planning for this whole thing, I'm really messed up, and I didn't print out my notes. But I do I do remember them. Uh, first thing on our, on our celeb news. <laughs> Kanye West. Good. And uh, Kim Kardashian. Say bullet next. Apparently. <laughs> Fire? <laughs> apparently it's not working out for them. Oh, she oh did, no. Tell us why. She did the uh, Kardashian family uh, Christmas party, and he she asked him not to show up. And she also conveniently Uh-oh. left her wedding ring at home, too, which she said was just because she's wearing less jewelry after, <laughs> you know, the robbery. <laughs> after I don't... <laughs> Oh yeah, I thought that shit was fake. Mm-hmm. No, it was mm-hmm. real. Like, no, I'm still with you. Shit. Insurance, inside, inside, yeah, I heard that job. was fake as fuck. Inside job, totally inside yeah. job. So yeah, 2017 will not be having a reunion or a, a showing of Kimmy apparently. <laughs> I like how he's looking right at her titties. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Um, other news, odd news. Apparently, uh, a guy tried to go rob a, a sex store. Well, shit happens. The uh, the the cashier, some lady. I don't have the picture of it, but she fought back, throwing dildos yes. at the uh, the the attempted <laughs> robber. Yeah, and, those things are heavy. That's awesome. This uh-huh. sounds like a joke. They're very thwappy. <laughs> There's there was video online, but yeah, got hit in the head a bunch of times, and he just took off running. So. Oh man, it would have been so much better if he got caught. <laughs> like ha- having to explain that to people, like big old in jail. dick bruise on his <laughs> well, face. Well, dude, I got I got this fucking double sided dildo thrown at my face, <laughs> and, yeah. or as a flashlight, and it went in my and mouth, and I totally froze. I just tattoos. froze. <laughs> yeah, you literally got fucked to jail. Bro, like, <laughs> yeah, I would have thrown a fre- uh, uh, flashlights at him. Yeah, Flesh uh, well, I mean, well, I mean, they have the get heart. That the heart talk- get that vagina. Get that vagina. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. I know that it's heavy. Wait a minute. Describe it again, Brandon. The, <laughs> don't have to, no, no, Go Good ahead, on. please. It's, it's, it's akin to a flashlight. There is an outer casing that is hard. Okay. A- akin. Okay. All right. Thanks, Shut the that hell sounds up, like Kevin. someone knowledgeable in this. <laughs> <laughs> Another more local news. We uh, we I know we talked about it last week a little bit, but Livingstones, of course, uh, we all knew the bad news before it's just Christmas. On fire, yo. <laughs> it it burnt. The place is lit. Uh, it sucks. And there is a GoFundMe for them that they've uh, been making money. And this isn't to support Livingstones, but the actual people who work there. So uh, go and support that. That is on the Dirty Daddy Podcast Facebook page. Just to buttress all of that, if you don't mind, uh, buttress. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's good word. Oh, wow. I'm throwing, I'm throwing around those so words, guys. Tony's, I I Tony's I mean, excited wow. right now. I make those. Moderate dollars talking. So, um, <laughs> so, so, uh, don't be confused by the story because when the story came out, it kind of downplayed, uh, and it, it for me too, until I actually saw pictures that, yes, oh, most of the damage was only done by uh, smoke and no, no, no. water that they used to put out. No, it's fucked up. Like, it is totally fucking trashed. And it's, you know, smoke and water. Just think about that, having to soak it. Like, don't be confused about the level of damage that The has only been reason done. that building is still standing is because it's brick. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. it, 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 it may as well have been gutted. It's, it's really bad. Yeah, so helping them out, especially because Living Stones, at least for me, especially back in the day when I partied all the fucking time, you know, it was, it was always a chill spot. 
and it's like an institution, at least for Fresno and Tower, in my opinion. So I think it would be really cool if we could help them out on that. Hey, man. I'll well, be honest, Brandon. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised it's still standing because it's brick. Brick burns a lot quicker than log. Shut up, Kenneth. Dude, Kenneth, <laughs> you've been on that rugby team far too long. <laughs> Hashtag shut up, Kenneth. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was You have to write it, too. Watch, guys. He has to write it. You know, like I this. actually right. apply my fucking degree to things, and you guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm Kenneth, and I'm smart. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What is your degree? Smart. I've got two. No, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I opened up a can of worms here. All right. What are they, please? I've got one in physical education. I've got another Boring. in general education with mo- with a minor in uh, fire uh, services. Oh, my God. Who fire the fire. hell cares? <laughs> no, I, I was interested. Okay. Like, how do you gain the knowledge to know that brick burns? Because to my my knowledge, it just insulates heat. Yeah, doesn't it take 5,000 degrees to make brick? Oh, did they use uh, what they used in 9-11 on it? But you got to think of the mortar. Aren't fireplaces I'm gonna made of brick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm gonna hold it to a brick. How come hey man, I'm, 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 I'm pretty fire. sure I had a brick oven pizza. Can you explain that because one to me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Degree over here. How many degrees does it take to I'm, burst I'm brick and flame? I'm a dumb stoner, but I know I've had a fucking brick <laughs> oven pizza at least one time, man. Don't pretty you, good. Don't you gotta it. feel like getting a <laughs> refund on that one? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, guys. Think of the mortar. Fuck do I know? I'm Asian and I got glasses Seriously, on, right? in class, <laughs> did you ever consider asking about fireplaces? <laughs> a log home oh, the greatest show has ever. a three-hour burning rate as opposed to a brick home, which has a one-and-a-half-hour rate. How long does it take for you to lose your virginity? <laughs> 30 Longer years. than you, asshole. <laughs> you're, you're all 30 seconds, man. 30 seconds. It's all, wait, what? And, uh, Rob Weeks pops in. I don't with, think that was the question. No, don't, do, the question. Hey, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't Rob, do it. Rob says jet fuel no, no. can't melt brick oh, no. beams. <laughs> what is going on here? No, no, this is, the bad. Oh, this is bad. Shit. What are you doing with the Kunisama? <laughs> exactly what you think I'm doing. No. Eat his feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm last sorry, show, Kenneth. man. You can't escape it. We're only in the second segment. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. All right, uh, <laughs> next story. Uh, <laughs> going along with places that got the GoFundMes, and this is local, the uh, Fresno, the, the Art House Rescue Project. Apparently, since the, uh, the what was the Oakland Fire? Uh, ghost ship. The ghost what ship fire. Know? Lost a friend in the ghost ship fire. Yeah, apparently that place was made of bricks Entirely and it burned and killed everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Flames immediately. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> like a matchstick, those bricks. So, yeah, the word is that, that uh, neo-Nazi groups, the alt-right, are uh, closing down or, or tipping off people to shut down these DIY spots that all these liberal kids go to perform and, and practice their arts. And so, uh, apparently, apparently, there's been some drama online of people going and... and Ratting them out. Rather there was, a call, to, there was a call to action for that on 4chan. They were like, "Hey, you know, you should report these places to the authorities so they can they can be brought up to code." But that's absolute bullshit. They don't want to bring them up to code. They want to close them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. America has completely and utterly abandoned the artist. Oh. And, um, along other things too. Among other yeah. things for sure. <laughs> yeah, we've dropped a lot of things. Behind. Well, let me go to some happy news. It's 2016, the year of death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was a bad transition. Uh, so, yeah, I, I was doing a little work. I made a little video, a memoriam video. Oh, boy. But um, I did notice that a lot of people died this year. Mm-hmm. A lot of things in America died this year, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got a little little video for you guys to, to check out. Go ahead, sound guy. That would be the wrong one. Hey like, guys, this is the happiest memorial video the ever. ever. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk more. to you about da, da, what's going on in 2017. Oh, Chris Dowdy died. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no. We're not married yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, the ring. I can't get your insurance. <laughs> Legally, it doesn't count. If okay, here it is. God. Shit, I didn't even know if we're going to die. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, Dave Mira died, really? Yeah. Dave, Dave, Dave. Yeah, that guy died. Alan Thick. Yeah, so we know he died. Time comes. Oh, yeah, that was sad. Oh, that was, yeah. That made me mad. Yeah, that was that's, terrible. That's rough, man. Wow. He didn't look good there. Who? Oh. Fiddle. <laughs> no! This is not very no. white. Don't rest from the guys. Dad? So we're all to Ego Carrie Fisher. Good morning. Oh, God, that's fucked up. 
Her mom died today. Ugh. Ah. Wait, Craig Sagan. God dang it. This is, this is, I didn't. Fuck! Hey, so you get No. Ah. Ooh, no, no. Good nice. day, sir. I said good day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit, yeah, Gary, right. I forgot about yeah. that. R2D2, no! no. <laughs> can you bake it? The man in the can. Fuck! I forgot about that one too. Merle Haggard, man. That My agent Bobby said, Oh yeah, Mrs. Brady. They're doing this new series, they want you to come down to Paramount and read for it. That's right, you said you heard it, okay? What did you say? What did you just say? Oh, so you're only a fat fuck. (laughs) Miss Cleo. She didn't see it coming. Oh, come on. (laughs) Damn it. You were waiting for that. You were waiting for it. (laughs) No. No. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. We were healed, (laughs) Dowdy. We were healing. (laughs) Damn it. Open up old wounds, why don't you? So young. God. Nancy Reagan, man. Uh, Kimbo. Kimbo. Oh, that's right. Kimbo. Man, I, I, hey, I, knew, I knew about Kimbo before Kimbo was Kimbo. Yeah, he's a bouncer. Just a bouncer. Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. You couldn't even get a real picture of Harry Heller. Oh, sh- don't. oh this is gonna be this is gonna be brutal. Uh, Back to it. Oh, oh God! Oh. That was pretty faithful to the comic, though. At least that, yeah. that scene. It, it was, was an pretty, it was pretty, pretty much identical. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch! Uh, <laughs> uh, there's one more. Yeah, I know. Searching for music is like searching for God. Fuck. They're very similar. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, like the two epitomes of cool. Right? Like, yeah. Which, which all of our models for androgyny are dying, man. Yeah, which, which cool kind of cool are you? Are you David Bowie all cool or are you ones. Prince cool? Hold on. Hold up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh no, no, man. No stop way. this. No, stop, dude. No, no. no! No! Oh, don't do this. Don't do no. this, Dowdy. Dowdy, this is a dark oh, path we're going down. No. <laughs> Turn this off. Oh, this is not oh, right. Stop it. Oh, God! No. Oh, no. No. No, stop. No. Uh, no. Oh, no. 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 Who sees Dowdy with a black eye? Know that Be Free did it. <laughs> I showed my mom this video last night. She was on speakerphone, and right, I, I told I was mouthing the ca- cardio, so I'll just wait for Patrick Stewart. And all of a sudden, here on the phone, no, not Patrick Stewart. Yeah, no, but no, when it comes yeah. to predictions, apparently, also I just found out after making this okay, whole video, Carrie Fisher's mom no! died. So <laughs> damn. See, look how much damage you did. Okay, so <laughs> who? Do you think is is on deck for death? Uh, do I have a pretty good list on there? I mean, except for Betty White, I was just joking there. She's not going to die. She never will. <laughs> I have one. Go ahead. So, I'm surprised he didn't make it this year. But there's still like three days left. Harrison Ford. <laughs> no, it's got to be one Star Wars person a year. He's good. We had two this year. Actually, there was a third one too. I can't was remember there? who. Yeah. I, I I see Dolph Lundgren dying. Mm. <laughs> Dolph That's just Lundgren. because of his drugs. Okay, you know what? what from? Hey, check it out, check it out, check it out. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Keith Richards. No, he's no. immortal. Yeah. If he's not dead yeah, yet, he's, he's not, not dying. Yeah, he you heard it here yet. first. <laughs> you heard it here first. He's he is an android, man. That, he was android. Fucking, that was fucking 18 stars that died on that list that I actually cared about. But there were like 30 yeah. on that fucking list. Oh, yeah. 30 or 40. And that was just all I put on. I mean, there was a whole yeah, lot more. Yeah, there's a whole... There yeah, wasn't Robin Williams this year? Uh, no. No, that, oh, was, that last was last year. year. Was it last year? Yeah. That was last year. Psh, whatever. So, yeah, there. Uh, that, that video is posted up on our website, longbox.fm, and, of course, the socials. You can enjoy that over and over again for fun. Uh, I got caught you to cry last really? night with it. I think so, we're going to get Bush Sr. this year. Bush Sr.? Yeah, he's yeah. he's knocking. Nah, you know who's going to die. Foot in, dude, it's, for sure. knock, it's gonna be knock, Bill Clinton. Knocking, knocking, it's gonna be Bill Clinton. No. <laughs> hey, or, or Rummy. Hey, Rumsfeld's got to hey, go. Hey, hey, yeah. They're gonna go sorry. catch okay. him. Okay, I'm not sorry. <laughs> what the, the fuck was that? I mean, dude, he's knocking on heaven's door. No, I, I hear the blood of virgins can keep you youthful for a long time. 
<laughs> Real quick, Rob, Rob Weeks pops so in with Tim Curry. <laughs> oh, we'll get more to man, death right. as we do this, the last Dirty Dotty podcast ever. Uh, doing it up tonight. Next, we got coming up after he does his new rock stuff. We're going to take our break. Eat our Kunisama. You can find them in the southwest corner of Herndon and Willow, the, the Walmart shopping center parking lot there. Uh, do it up. We've been doing it for the last four months. Fantastic sushi. Go get them. Tell them that we sent you because, you know, they need the plug. With all that, we'll be back with Drew and some New Year's resolutions here on the Dirty Dotty Podcast on Longbox.fm. That's all these grown men. I had five rolls, you asshole. Yeah, as opposed to what I eat every we other week. We only hurt five of your feelings. Let's all be grown men. I have no feelings. I am. Right, that just I'll fight you for it. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm not, I'm not a fighter. Fuck you guys. Talk change. <laughs> Dude, you mad. <laughs> You're listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Hey, what's going on? This is Tom Arnold, and when I'm at a Cocaine Anonymous meeting, I'm usually in the back listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast. I love painkillers. It's the Dirty Daddy Podcast. All right, Sturt Daddy Podcast for the final time here in the Longbox Box Autumn Studios, brought to you, of course, by Rally's Brewing. Thanks, Cheers. Rally. And uh, special thanks, as we've been getting hit up, uh, Liquid Nitro, that's been keeping me running. I, I haven't bought a Red Bull in a month now, and that was a three three or four day habit. So yeah, like crack. I mean, just to- totally on it. This is way much better and way cheaper in the store, too. So check yourself out some uh, Liquid Nitro. It actually tastes good, and I'm a snob about this stuff. Um, so, tonight's guest, Night Guy Drew, doing, uh, doing your breaks. Do double duty, man. Double duty tonight. Like a true pro. I'm surprised I was able to get you in here. Oh, okay. Because I'm so hard to get a hold of. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a big businessman, man. Not, okay. For those, uh, well, I, I know you're pretty open about your life on air. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you're not just radio DJ. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a realtor. I sell real estate. Uh, I don't personally buy and sell it. I, you know, I'm broker the intermediary. It. Yeah, so, I broker so. it. Real estate. Um, <laughs> I work, uh, <laughs> yeah, real estate. Which is funny, man, because, like, honestly, I, I would have never saw myself initially getting into it. But uh, when I did, it just really like worked out it works around my schedule fine and you know i love doing it so yeah that's what i do locally that's how i actually survive is you know but you should uh you should help me out there because i could use a job so <laughs> i could sell well, no i can't, can't sell paint? anything because i get i get someone to paint houses for sure <laughs> i'll paint dude I'll, dude i actually there was a promo i wanted to do for the station and i never got got around to it but it was basically like give me 10 minutes of your time and if you don't like this I'll give you ten minutes of mine. I'll scrub a toilet or whatever. We'll do it on video, on, and I'll, I'll get my elbows dirty to, to get listeners. Well, dude, uh, I have spent a long time getting dirty to get listeners. That's kind of what you have to do. Uh, Sounds hot in this field. Like, yeah, I know it does sound hot, right? Maybe that was the wrong way to say you it. You banged an entire oh, audience, yeah, yeah. dude. Right. I have given out so many hand jobs. Like, you don't, you don't even understand. What it, it works, that, dude. Man. It works. It works. It's a, it's a good tactic. Um, I have to reconsider. No, man. I started off <laughs> doing this shit. Uh, you know, DJ stuff. Like, I started off as a stunt boy. Mm-hmm. 13, 15 years ago. Manhole. Manhole over at KRZR. Oh, so, by the yeah. way, that's that's a, that's a, that's a throwback. Damn. We have Back one more no of the KRZR crew in here. We've had almost everyone, but I think Chris Daniel. Correct. Yeah, he's the last one standing. Brad Gisa. We've not oh, had, yeah. We've oh, you haven't had Brad in? I no. love Brad, dude. Or Rick, actually. Rick Rodham, yeah. but it's going to be a little hotter to get him. It, well, yeah, because he's <laughs> assuming that he's uh, on the other side of the continental united states isn't he in wyoming he is detail which is call. crazy get him on a call in when you okay so <laughs> so rick uh is who i learned radio from okay so he's the one that taught me and he had a lot of um a lot of influence on me on timing things like that taught me how to be professional and <laughs> to consider where rick was to what he is now like what he's doing it's it's just crazy i would have never have thought in a million years that that, that would be the case but he's happy doing good i mean radio is kind of one of those things dude that like 
this is a little bit more you have a little bit more freedom to do what you do here uh radio is fun within the confines of what you're doing yeah you still need to deliver a very specific product exactly and uh having fun with that having a personality is what you need to learn you know what i mean and that's fucking hard especially (laughs) no one gets that you know it's the dude i could do radio i'm funny there's a nah. complete misconception about how to execute on a mic. Like there are like just basic things that you have to learn that if you take it seriously going in, which I started off as an intern, right. Mm-hmm. And I worked for free for fucking like a year. Uh, you take those opportunities to learn and then you kind of evolve after time. Um, and uh, yeah, I've worked for the three major rock stations uh, in town and I've been at new rock for almost six years coming up. Yeah. Yeah, this is has my, it been that long? Yeah, it's been close to six years. Okay, a little bit over five, actually. No, no, it's closer to five because I started in 2011. So, yeah, it, I just passed the five year mark. Well, <clears throat> what the huh? hell? I'm like, well, what, what now? God Can't, damn it, God Kenneth. Damn it <laughs> Kenneth. Way to ruin our final show. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Gosh. Well, uh, when it comes to radio stuff, now, part of the more legit side of the interview that we do, uh, best moments or. or or advice. Actually, you can take it anywhere you want here. Uh, oh, okay. Your, in, in, with your history, anything you want to share with people that you don't get to normally do. Oh, God. Okay. Well, there is... Okay, so back in the day when I was doing... <laughs> okay, so when I did the KRZR stuff, uh, initially when you get in, and this is like right on the edge of the uh, Janet Jackson boob incident, you know what I mean? <laughs> that changed... You mean the, the death of radio? Yeah, the death of radio, pretty much, because... We were, you had so much freedom to do so much crazy shit, mm-hmm. and uh, on a local tip, because I initially uh, was you know I'm I'm into music. I have a wide wide range of appreciation for music as an art. Uh, I love it all. I was listening to Fiona Apple on the way here, and then I'll probably <laughs> be listening to Joffrey <laughs> Cowboy on the way back. You know what I mean? Go from that shit. You know, it's just it's one of those things that I've always appreciated, and that's what initially got me into it. Because locally, uh, from the age of like twelve or thirteen, I was always hitting up the local punk rock shows, the local ska shows. That was the scene back then. Back then, that was the scene. It was it was all ska, all punk rock. God damn, you're old. <laughs> Ninety six. Hey, yeah, now. hey, I know, now. right? So yeah, right. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> and then I would listen to the radio all the time. But what really got me stuck into radio was the idea of these goofy fucks. Because I'm a goofy fuck, being goofy that fucks, <laughs> and and making getting paid for it, and I was like, well, so this is an option, and you know, it just I kind of <laughs> fell into it randomly, and then going into it, then you don't realize it was chicks that kept me there. I was like, oh, chicks, <laughs> you know what I mean? Chicks love the idea of me talking on a fucking box in a car. So I was like, cool, I want to keep on doing this shit. You don't even like realize until, until you're you, with them <laughs> until you get it. So that's what initially got me in there. But, um, I had to do a bunch of like terrible shit in order to, because we were, we were doing a uh, man. I had to, I had to make out with a donkey one time. Um, that's man. the one, that's the one that sticks out the most. So the, the idea behind the shit. bit, don't open with that. I know, right? <laughs> don't let people know that yeah. bestiality has been something <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so the bit was, uh, it was the first time I could actually legally drink on, on air because I was, I just turned 21. It was Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> They're like, all right, well, this is going to be called manholes. Donkey by, show. by the way, legal is the correct term. Yeah, yeah. Le- legal for me to drink on air. Um, so, I drank a half a bottle of tequila going up the hill. So, and this is... Now, now, remember, this is the this is the power of what that local radio station was doing at the time, because we would just throw out, hey, does anyone have a donkey? Call us up. And we would get fucking people that would call us and be like, yeah. I have a fucking donkey. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that was the power. We could... Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. We could, and there, this was all happening live. So it was, like, unprecedented in, uh, uh, what you're pulling off here. We would get listener involvement all the time. Come on down. It's all good. I drink a half a bottle of tequila going up the fucking hill. And then I go to the donkey. And I'm just trashed all right I, i'm like walking out of the car puking like this <laughs> where the, the donkey's like no yeah the donkey's like no i don't want to get this fucking guy so they, donkey's like all, i need half a ball of tequila yeah. <laughs> so they, they bring me this uh they're all you want a beer i'm like fuck yeah i want a beer so they give me a beer and by the way i'm sober now so because of shit like this so, uh, so i go over to the fucking donkey and i just like kiss it like that and I'm like alright I'm done and they're like nah dude you're gonna have to stick your tongue go for it 
And I'm like, Ugh. okay, fuck you guys, dude. All right, fuck it, do it. So I go in and I stick my tongue in this fucking donkey's mouth and it almost bites my tongue off. <laughs> it starts surprising. to bite down and I rip my fucking head out of it. I was this close to losing the ability to speak, which my brother would be totally okay with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have been radio yeah, instead of the donkey. <laughs> that, that's, that's my radio career. That's the story of me, as it were. But We're back on KRTL. Uh, that, that is... Yeah. <laughs> That bit is the one that stands out the most to me. Like, I was willing to do this to be able to talk on a mic. You know what I mean? And uh, and uh, I paid a lot of dues during that time. You know, it took me, what, six years to get my own show? New Rock's the one that gave me my break in regards to trusting me with a night program or just a show in general. You sure trust is still the word? What's up? Huh? Well, no, nothing. <laughs> now, okay. So is it, I, don't know, says what now? I don't know if you were like me. When I got into New Rock, I I, I, I got in there and I thought, radio, dude, this is awesome. I We're going to be, I mean, doing blow off the mixer and there's going to be titties <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. And, and, you know, I'm going to be rubbing elbows with Metallica. This is going to be the greatest thing ever. And you walk in and it's like, oh, like, it's like yeah. this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, People are working here. But it's, not, it's not to say, though, that... Uh, I always found it as a kind of like a like not like a puzzle but something to execute, you know what I mean? You have an operative. So you got to go in, like just a conversation like this. You have to go in and you have to make something compelling in 2 minutes. You know, I always found that fascinating having to be able to weed in and out. The training that I've gone through radio and just being comfortable which took me years and years and years and I'm still learning all the time how to be mm -hmm. okay, you know? Um but there is definitely a science to it. I always really appreciated the art of doing it. And I think that's really what it breaks down. Music is art. I am fascinated by art forms. And I find uh, radio broadcasting in general uh, not necessarily like, ooh, I got that smooth DJ voice. I'm back on it. Like, not that shit. But just being able to <laughs> engage someone in a conversation, but it's directed. I find it fascinating. Uh, and that's why I still do it to today. Well, there's know? there's the struggle of awesome. you're having a conversation with a microphone, and you've got to realize you're talking. And, like, uh, Hammer gave me one of the best piece, pieces of advice. Talk to one person. It yeah. doesn't matter how many people are listening. You talk to one person. That's how you – and these are, like, the little details that you get working behind the scenes. You're actually right. in that booth. Um, it. And it's a struggle, too, when you talk about what content you're going to do every day. Look, uh, 21 Pilots are coming to St. Martin Center February 14th of 2017. It's Valentine's Day. You can buy the tickets at da-da-da. Like, yeah. how do I say this two or three times night, a shift two, three and times make a, it interesting? It's all inflection. You know what I mean? It's like, it's honestly the way that you take a message and disseminate it for someone because you have people that are only going to hear that one break. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That they're in and out of the car within 10 minutes. They hear a song. They hear that break. Um, you know, not necessarily someone just sitting and listening to everything, you know. And there is things that you got to realize when you say talk to one person. It's very personal medium. You know, we, we are all discussing with each other topics, right? Having a conversation. Uh, when you are speaking solely to one person, you have to invite them into the conversation. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? And uh, I always thought that. And you got 12 seconds to do it. Right. And, you know, that's that's kind of the art form behind it. And I'm not going to sit here and stroke my own dick and be like, oh, it's an art form. I'm an artist. No, you it's know? cool. It's not radio. <laughs> no, no, right. It's the yeah. internet. Go ahead. I'm like, yeah, there are cameras here. We're on C-Mac. We can make some. <laughs> uh, but, but I'm Coming not, up next, Drew's dick. Yeah. Someone needs Drew's dick. <laughs> up next. Flopping that on the table. Just so. Drew's dick. Um, <laughs> go out with a bang, baby. Dick's out for Drew. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I love I love doing it, and uh, like I said earlier on, I sell houses to support my radio career. You know what I mean? Like I love doing it. I don't think I could stop doing it. You know, they'll have to fucking fire me and drag me out of that building. Um, well, funny did you say that? Because we got a special guest tonight. Yeah, <laughs> your boss. Yeah, Yo, yeah. The owners of the station are here. <laughs> no, um, a question I ask all radio guys: um, Is it a dying medium? No. Um, and, you know, what it really boils down so to. Remember, is, you're fighting Pandora, you're right, fighting yeah, yeah. Uh, Spotify, you're fighting, you know, the Dirty Daddy podcast, at least for one more night. New media, <laughs> new media uh, is going to take over video, music on demand. You know, it, it eventually is. Uh, the reason why radio will never die, the reason why ABC and CBS and NBC will never die is because it's fucking free. Mm -hmm. It's free. So yeah. you, could, you could argue 
all the time that I'm going to be able to bloop, bloop, bloop for 12 bucks a month and do this and that. There's there's two aspects to that. One, it's free. The other one is that it's a local represent, uh, representation of where you live. Okay? So we are basically the linchpins in what is happening here, there, and over there. And we are supposed to educate the public on that. And uh, that's why it will never go away because there is value in that. There is value in being able to tell you tomorrow this is happening or tonight this happened out of nowhere go and check it out we are on the local tip so being local locally owned mind you from our conglomerate uh and also the fact that it's free i don't need to pay for it it'll never die abc in CBS, your face daddy ABC, it'll never die <laughs> now if that's not to guys. say that's not to say that there's not a shit ton of money in the direction where media is going because I look at the way that I personally consume media. Could you point me in that direction? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, you consume media through like what fucking like YouTube and you know a bunch of different sources. There's heart- commercials inside of commercials now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's, exactly. So it's just I don't know. It's one of those things that people argue that all the time, but I think they're looking at it the wrong way. It's about evolving. You know what I mean? Um, and. Uh, there will be a shift eventually, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. So. All right. Um, let me do this. Three of them, Kevin? Three each? Well, no. Well, Three total. Well, because we want to do our, our New Year's resolutions. Oh, okay. Two, I do one. So, Go. Okay. All right. So we got three. It's time for Molestar Kevin's questions. All right. Here we go. First question. Thank you. Who would give a better hand job? Michael J. Fox or an octopus? <laughs> Dude, that's that's fucked up, man. Uh, I'll say I'll say an octopus. You're probably right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got suction. The, in yeah. the, in the Japanese the culture, there's a lot of people fucking octopi. So that, I, I, I mean, there the there is grammar. Tentacle porn's a thing. Tony, is this true? I'm not Japanese. I don't think that I should be the representative for all these. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Oh, it's nice to see you bail on that. <laughs> Consult our agent. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I mean, yeah. out of everyone else, I might as well ask. Anyway, you're up, Tony. Second question. <laughs> uh, even people who, like, burn water can make one dish well Yeah. if a gun was held to their head. Okay. What What is the one dish that you can make well, and why is yours special? Here's the fucking funny thing about that is that I cook all the time. Okay, good. Uh, I just actually uh, ordered a knife set. Nice. That's $1,000. Okay. Uh, but but I got it on a great deal. So it was like a Christmas deal. So okay. it's like 300 bucks. Okay. okay. Nice. But I've been wanting... A Drew and his money are no, soon no, parted. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> that, that knife set, I'm so fucking excited about that knife set showing up. Like, I'm going to cut some tomatoes. Hangles or like what are we, what are we talking? Yeah, about? Yeah. Like, so like what uh, my go-to thing that the thing that like everyone gets impressed by if yes. I make for them is okay. very simple. It's just a bruschette. Okay, and it, uh, it has uh, a balsamic cherry tomato basil marinade uh, okay. that with some garlic and then uh, goat cheese on top. Okay, and it's very very simple. But if I had to say eat this and please don't fucking shoot me, uh, that's what I would serve someone. Like. That Fair. that or a fucking steak with salt and pepper on it, but just cooked go. very very correctly. Correctly, yes. right? Yes. There you go. I take that shit seriously. There you go. Very I right. actually, I actually, for the first time ever, had a steak that was cooked correctly, and god damn it, only salt and pepper. Yeah, mm-hmm. because yeah. you're supposed you to taste the meat. But yes. the but problem is, if you got, uh, <laughs> I, tell, I tell Cody that all but the time. The, but the problem, but the problem is, if it's some bunk ass meat or you cook it wrong. Then it doesn't work. No, no he, I, he 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 let it he let it he let it brine with the salt yeah. just on the counter for a minute, and then with the oh my god, it there's was, a way of doing I never, it. It was yeah. Do you and need the, a moment? It was yeah. it was yeah, also he's, oh, he's oh, oh no it was no no, 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 no <laughs> 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 my, mind you this was the mind you this was the CEO of Hillrick and Brasby, which who makes Louisville Slugger. We, we're chilling in his house, so I mean yeah yeah clean up if there's a place you're gonna get a good steak at somebody's house, it should be that one. Yeah, clean up on Isle Brandon right now. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, and I am not cleaning that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I know if we're going to talk about meat, I'm just going to say this. Uh, if you're going to eat a steak, never put fucking any sauce on it ever unless it's a Bernays. That is the only acceptable sauce yeah. to ever put on a steak. a steak. no doubt. That's my personal opinion. Fair I just stated it as a Also fact, blue cheese. That's what's wrong with America. Also blue cheese. <laughs> so I know. Right. Or blue cheese, yeah. That's not really blue a sauce, cheese. though. You just yeah. crumble it. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Real quick, if you have a question for Drew, call us up. 4920450. He'll obviously answer anything he mouths donkeys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Question <laughs> the third. <laughs> I'm glad you asked a food question, because that leads into this next question. 
<laughs> Drew. Okay. Yes. Who is more bangable? <laughs> <laughs> Amy Winehouse or Amy Winehouse's corpse? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Your Where, questions are so point. Where's uh, fruit? <laughs> 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 All right. What, what is poi? What, your questions are so poi. And then you. Uh, I was uh, interested. What, yeah. Poi. Yeah. <laughs> Please continue. No, no, no. I. Poignant? I don't. I don't yeah. know. Right. Exactly. Call that one yeah. poignant. That's, that's, that's right. I'll take poignant. All I'm gonna say is that. Okay, I would never fuck a corpse, so I have to say Amy Winehouse, but I was attracted to Amy Winehouse with all the drugs and everything. <laughs> Under like, corpse! Yeah, you know. <laughs> Plus, a chick on drugs will do pretty the, much anything. Yeah, dude, she's on. she was partying hard, dude. That yeah. chick probably got down Amy Winehouse. Oh, yeah. So, and, and she sang like a motherfucker. So. Did you ever go down for anal? What? I said, mm. Well, we're at that point now, Cool. Is that that point of the show that we that start we're, talking we're, about? We're, we're, we're just bailing. We're just next question. Totally I don't deal with anal, man. That's yeah. an exit only. Let's, let's do this. Daddy, let's do it you don't mess with mine, and we. Cool. <laughs> hey, we've lived through this shit. <laughs> Stand by. What? Pregunta cuatro. What is your getting anal strategy? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, all right, fine. Okay, oh, we went right this into is that. okay. Th- this oh, involves God. like three steps. Okay, I'm listening. Three right, steps. Write this down because this is something I'm going to share something with your audience and everyone here that they didn't know, but you know. Um, <laughs> all right. Damn it. All right, Cotty. <clears throat> First, you have to pick her up, obviously. Take her to a very light meal. All right. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. It's going to be I'm a, out. It's going to be a messy situation, all right? So, light this meal. This is the day before, right? Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I saw where you're going with no that. Creams. No creams. You got to take her to it, but then you get her back to the house. And then this is the movie that you watch with her, all right? Oh. It's Finding Nemo. <laughs> All right. Finding Nemo is chick kryptonite. I'm telling you, if you watch Finding Nemo with the girl, she will do whatever the fuck you want right afterwards, okay? This has worked on several occasions. I actually just bought Finding Nemo You're on, on Amazon. Oh, funny. I find it right here. Uh, <laughs> you watch that movie, and then when you're going and actually doing the act... You got to give the courtesy thumb, and then if they're susceptible to it, then you know you're good. If they're like, "Yeah, get this in," then you know that it's not gonna work. But yeah, when they lean into it, yeah, y- yeah. Good. If you do it and they're like, "Ah," you're like, "Oh," so it's gonna be like that night, right? So yeah, that's that's would be my strategy: finding Nemo on the courtesy thumb. We are on mm. C Mac. Okay. <laughs> you just described a twelve year old girl. Oh no! I did not. I'm like, yeah, it's super hot when my. My girlfriend reached above her grade level. <laughs> wow. I don't know that we were... Okay. I, I see what Kevin started. <laughs> All right. That's the only time I'm going to throw a We just went down a hole. Wow. See Any more? All right. Sure. Next question. We, we have more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drew wants it. I'm still lost on that. I got, I got a question. I, should I forgot have. what question number we were on. It doesn't matter. Because it's the last show, I, I I feel this this question should be asked, and it's poignant. No, we're not knocking towers down. No, of course not. Why would you suggest such a thing? So he ruined my last question. No, here we go. <laughs> what is the best way to ask a stranger for a hand job? <laughs> well, where are you finding the stranger? That I'm gonna I'm gonna Ooh. throw it back at you. No, this is the first Save one. Mart. It, oh, like oh. Okay. First and bowler save Mart. <laughs> first and bowler save Mart. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You would have to hang out by the fruit section. Yeah. All right, you can't go like frozen food. You have to be like somewhere near either like squashes, cucumbers, or bananas. <laughs> All right, right. pineapples. <laughs> yeah, something phallically shaped. And then, and then you kind of have to. Um, you probably have to inspect them a lot. Like if like if she's like there, you have to kind of like slightly go up and then just kind of like look over and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that where, yeah. Where are you just saying anal with a random woman? Yeah. <laughs> Not your girlfriend like, or anything. This, just no, these are hand jobs now. So we like, moved on to hand jobs. That's, that's that's all. That would be the only way that I think that you could either that or you just walk up to a girl and be like, "Will you give me a hand job, please?" And then that'll probably get you kicked out. Can, can they would like to move on to hand jobs? Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, you know what else is cool? Hand jobs. They are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I like hand jobs. You like, you, you, so you like, you like fruit, huh? You like the store? That's cool. How about hand jobs? How about <laughs> hand jobs? <laughs> you like now, hand jobs? be honest. It, 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 you're on air right now. Yeah. Your boss is just <laughs> running down the hall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Make sure that I like I don't forget which one I'm talking about right now. <laughs> what um, are you doing? Yeah. No, I mean, this, is, this is to be expected. This is to be expected. 
Are we good on? I think we're good. Okay. Uh, Drew, real quick. Normally we do plugs. Did Yours is super easy. Everyone? <laughs> does, does anyone try to be coy when they answer these fucking questions? They don't just like straight up answer. Usually them? at this point we get them drunk enough that it's, it doesn't it, matter. It comes at out. That point. Yeah. No, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice um, plugs. Of course, we can find you, New Rock. Uh, give it up. Oh, okay. Uh, where they can find me? Or? Yeah, all that stuff. Okay, uh, all your all your plugs. All my all my plugs. All right. So you can find me on my personal at Drew Hyatt. Uh, you can find me there. Uh, Drew Hyatt uh, Realtor is my real estate page that I have that you can go and I can help you buy a house. Uh, and also, I have my New Rock Drew Facebook page that uh, is for my radio stuff. That I'm really bad about updating that. I do most of my stuff through my personal, to be honest. So, um, But yeah, everyone can find me there. Oh, you went limp. Yeah, I know. My mic said, whoop. Okay, um, for this segment, I, I was also I had I was trying to jam things in. It's our last show, so I don't have much time to get anything in. Um, uh, it's the end of the year, uh, so resolutions. Do we do it or dump this? Do you want to do it now, or we go back? No, it's because it, when we come back, we got our game. New Year's resolutions. Do are it. Stupid. Re- okay, is that the thing? <laughs> <laughs> New Year's resolutions are stupid. So now we know Brandon's resolution. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait. If you need, if if no, hold on. If 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 you need the the the, the arbitrary one three hundred and sixty five day long cycle around the sun, starting at one point where you don't even know where it is and ends to set a goal. You stupid. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. If I want to make more money, I don't need it to be January 1st to decide I want to make more money. I'm going to say, you know what? My broke ass needs to be able to pay rent next month. But you're not so doing it right. Go. You're not doing it right. Look, I held my resolution from last year, and this is what I'm talking about. Don't say it. You can't Any, say it. Anyone oh, says... No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't say what. No, anyone what? says they're going to lose weight. You're lying. You're lying to yourself and everybody else you're talking oh, to. Oh, absolutely. God. But if you say something that, you know, and I can't do it. No, nope, not until... Not but until. last year's resolution I've held true to, uh, involving some fakeness of illness. Uh, mm-hmm. Careful. And, and I've done it. Uh, I've As done a good job. To what your resolution no, you mentioned was. it. Yeah. You mentioned it. You already mentioned it. I'll say, if anybody wants to jump on it or we bounce out, um, I would say, like, this year, my resolution is to get sick of trying to find a job and decide, fuck it, we're going to do the DDP again. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's probably going to happen. Uh, my, See you next month. And another resolution. Yeah. See you in two weeks. Yeah. I, I resolve to make sure that Cotty continues to pay all the bills. That's a good idea. <laughs> my New Year's resolution. That's a good one to Get have. a promotion so I can afford dirty towels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's support, man. That's support right there. That's what you should be doing. If that ain't love right there, hey, hey, yeah, Cotty, right? Cotty, I fucks with you for that. You have my undying fucking allegiance yeah. for that one, Cotty. <laughs> Any others? Uh, what about a prediction? Go for it. I predict that I'll probably fuck up my relationship by saying stupid shit related to food at least twice or three times. Whenever there's a fight, food is always involved. Why? Food, because How? I don't fucking. You're not know. getting any of what right. I cook. I have this. I no. I have this weird thing about like if someone touches my food. Or if they get me the wrong thing. Oh. I get fucking mad. Oh, like, you're it, one of those? It, oh, dude, it's such a bad personality flaw. Are you a foodzilla? No, no, no. I just, I, I don't get hungry often. I eat like once a night, all right? right. So if I, but when I eat, that I want nice. what I want. Exactly. Right. So, exactly. and I will make sure that I get what you want if you tell me you want something. But if you don't take the time to make sure what I'm getting is what I'm ordering, fuck you. You don't even care. I got like, you. That's fair. That's fair. Dude, I've had a lamp thrown at me one time. <laughs> Because a girlfriend when I was twenty, when I was twenty, and she was what thirty, she was ten years older than me. All right, I was I. I, She she took uh, she ate half of my hamburger when I went to the bathroom one time, and I lost my shit on her, which resulted in her picking up a fucking vase and breaking it on me. She like, (laughs) but did it touch the burger? (laughs) It did not. And 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 true story. uh, At the end, I ate the other half, and I was actually quite satisfied with it. And I was like, oh, you know, this is enough, actually. Tonight. Yeah, <laughs> so, the stitches. So I predict that that's most likely going to happen. Uh, so. You and I are very well, opposite. <laughs> really, that you don't give like a shit sh- people your food. Yeah, well, I I kind of I don't get the option. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Uh-huh. sometimes certain people uh-huh. just mow down the food before I get a chance. 
Uh huh. <laughs> I always eat. You're last. welcome. You know, I, here, here's here's a, here's a tactic. Here's a tactic. I always serve myself last after everyone because I'm going to take more than everyone. Yep. So I make sure that you get what your first round is, and I laugh at your measly first round, and I get my first round. <laughs> you okay, call that a portion? I, 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 yeah. You pussy. <laughs> I have a comment. Yes. With your little oh man, it started. Yes, you did. Oh, Happy New Year! Gosh, damn it! So every single show, Dowdy always refuses to grab some of the sushi. He waits to the end, by which all of the sushi is gone. Oh, right. I so he asks me, "Save me a couple of pieces." Every single fucking week, <laughs> I save him a couple of sushi pieces. <laughs> The one week that I am not here, he can't save me a fucking piece. Oh. Oh. You bastard. She just said she was going to bankroll the Dirty Dowdy podcast. Let me just counter. There was also... The wheels on the bus go round. This wasn't round. just one time. There was a time that uh, that Cotty saved me some food. And like a good host here that I am with Longbox, uh, I make sure that you know I, I hang out with everybody. I smoke them. We talk. And I, I walk them out the front door. And then I go into the kitchen. Everyone's gone. And Cotty has leaned over over the counter eating the last piece of sushi going do you want to go to Carl's Jr. and I'm like no I want to eat sushi and it's gone I'm going to bed should I remember you that took, you took Our, too long I remember that night I took her to Carl's Jr. <laughs> and then that one week I wasn't here you didn't save me any yeah so, well whatever any excuse to go to Carl's Jr. though so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck it. my favorite right. restaurant right there for fast well yeah. the Dirt Daddy M- moral podcast moral story is save your woman some sushi yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or get now her some Carl's Jr. <laughs> now sponsored by Cotty's food get her a CJ uh, Dirt Daddy podcast Podcast. We're going to take a break. And we're going to go to, to Save Mart real quick. No, uh, Carl Jr. Whoop. Whoop. Where did that come Mart. from? And maybe Save Mart for a hand job for somebody. <laughs> yeah, we need to go practice my technique. <laughs> Daddy, I got to go real quick. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're doing. We're taking a quick break. Uh, we're going to come back. We've got Sell This Product with Night Guy Drew. We're going to divide up the teams, figure out how to do this. We'll make it a fast round. And then we'll end the show. The last time the Dirt Daddy Podcast <laughs> live here in the Longbox.fm studio is brought to you, of course, by Riley's Brewing. Uh, stick around, share, get all that, and take your smoke breaks and pee on a bush and something like that. We'll yeah. be right back. Say it ain't so. So you're full of shit. Okay, right? hey, I'm right right now for your fast with these comments. So it's done. It's done. So what else? <coughs> We're done. Make sure to Fine. check your hour mark. I like you guys anyway. Yeah, it sounds like he's full of shit. I like you guys anyway. Dude, you're cool. Uh, right. You want to get the next one? Go file. <laughs> <laughs> that's not file. If it doesn't work out with, you know. Uh, a pin neck playlist. First one. <laughs> there you go. Enemies! <laughs> Same. <laughs> Two feet, boost. Make sure you learn it so that, so, you know, you don't do this or anything. So then, I hate to be that guy, but what's up with the, uh, Okay. Is that halted? No. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm a dude with two, I'm a two canoes. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm being raised in the oven. <laughs> I'm a nitro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 48% water. <laughs> At least. <laughs> 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 Back in my day, we didn't have a podcast. No. <gasps> you opened the window and you screamed at people. We had WKRP in Cincinnati, we liked it. <laughs> I love that show, actually. It's too young for that show. <laughs> yeah. You should check it out, WKRP in Cincinnati. Oh, no, 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 no. I've, I've seen, not the show, but I've seen the uh, case, the box. Uh, you know, that recipe. That's it. Yeah, it you don't know what you're missing, I'll tell you. That's mm-hmm. odd. That stuff is odd. It'll come back. Just find, you know, just find, find ways around it, dude. It's hot. It's hot. Such a it is hot. <laughs> You're a cranky fucker. <laughs> You're a cranky son of a bitch. But so am I, dude. We're never so, going to see each other again. When, when you look at the internet and half of your time you're doing this, uh, like, dude, yeah. you can't I help it, dude. I hate people so much. I know, dude. Yeah. So do I. Like, human beings. I don't, look, I don't have to look at the internet because it's the disgusting. Worst. You, you know what I think it is? It's, and I really, because I had to look into myself 
the other day because I'm the same way. I get very, very frustrated with people and other people's opinions. I'm in, guys. And uh, other people, people's opinions that don't <laughs> kind of jive with Mike. So I think it's a, just a lack of understanding because it's like, so like for, if you drink and I don't, I'll see and I'll you're like, I don't understand how he cannot drink and have a good time. It's that kind of thing, you know, because I, 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 you don't understand their yeah. train of thought. So it kind of like fucks with you and it, I'm the same way. But that's a long way. Yeah. Yes. Especially for this. It truly don't make no goddamn sense. It doesn't matter. You can't. You can't. You can't. Are you right? Is there a vibe? Huh? You can try to educate someone, but no one wants to be educated. You think? So that's the problem. Yeah. No shit. So basically, it's just you talking to whoever agrees with you these days, and that's the problem. Or are you arguing with somebody who don't know what the fuck they're talking about? As soon as somebody does that word. They can fucking learn anything. Right. That's, that's, but no one wants to. No, no, wants no one to. wants to. They just want to stroke yeah. their own opinion. You know why? Because it's too easy to live. That's the problem. Uh, we, need, we need things to kill us again. We're we talking about yeah. Twitter We people. need to be I second on yeah. the food chain. Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We bounce together. Yeah, we need a fucking alien base. Sharks need legs and lungs. <laughs> oh, we, need <laughs> we, we need, yeah. Sharks no, yeah, need legs, right. lungs, and guns. Don't worry, man. Wings. I just never wings. Wings. Do like oh, oh, sharks I, have I, wings too. Do like sharks have like guns, wings. Oh, guns, wings, and legs yeah. and lungs. Laser. The things they have lasers. That part's been done, dude. Let's not talk. Lasers are so ridiculous. That, that, was that, that, that would be an awesome summer. <laughs> if they did, yeah. yeah. If I was walking down the street one day, fucking laser legged shark. I'm a dragon. <laughs> it was such a wonderful that's, day. That's a dragon. And I was looking up it's at the really sky, fire. and I took acid yesterday, so mm-hmm. the colors are still vivid. Right? You know what it's I mean? And I'm like, it's, it's so beautiful. It's and this guy's just walking by me, and I'm like, it's such a beautiful blue sky, isn't it? He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking like, fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This guy's fucking great. Right, guys? <laughs> no, I know. I agree. Oh, oh. Trust me, I know. I, I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying, dude. But you can't. <laughs>What's up? This is Tracy Morgan. When I put a baby in your butthole, I'm listening to the Dirty Dowdy Podcast. Oop, I just dropped a brown shot. It's the Dirty Dowdy Podcast. intro music but awesome 2am orchestra enjoy it find it on longbox.fm because it's still rolling so this is how we're doing it we got our game tonight we're going to be doing Great. sell that product Ugh, shit. I, I figured out my game. teams pretty simple and easy we got drew mr radio guy can i just be a Yo. judge and we got kenneth Ugh. mr sad and kevin all right. star kevin as one team i noticed a pattern <laughs> Why? I do. You guys were all sitting together. You do this on purpose. That makes sense. Yeah, no, you do this I on purpose. I didn't do this on purpose. You always do this. On and purpose. we got a. <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you're looking. And at. that's Figuring team. <laughs> team Drew. <laughs> team Drew. <laughs> and we're going to go team Brandon. We, I because, almost Brad, thought you were going to say Team Brown. No, <laughs> no. Why do you have to, you know, you in, a, a race thing, in a 2016 America, judge. we don't need to talk race. <laughs> Tag Team Brown. Okay, then, continue. Just because we're not talking about it don't mean it ain't going on. No, no this, is team, this is Team Privilege versus Team Non-Privilege. Perfect. Uh, well, well, then we'll see shit. which privilege wins. <laughs> <laughs> I should technically be on the other team then. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm going. Uh, team Brandon is going to be Brandon, Tony, and Cotty. Now, Brandon is is getting some experience in learning the radio world, and the the best part of radio is not what you do on a mic, but how you sell it on the commercial reads. Mm-hmm. And so, this is where this this skill comes in for this game. So, for uh, basically, we're going to do we're going to do one on one. We'll take turns. You gotta sell a product that is a legit product. It'll be up on the screen. I'll tell you what it is. You go ahead and sell. And we're gonna start off heavy hitters first. 
Let's, Let's go, Drew oh, versus yeah. Brandon. I have to start. The, I have to you start have to start it. You have oh, to start fuck, it, man. Jesus. <laughs> That, what the, what that, the fuck? <laughs> it's the facial flex. Oh, no. What happened? Technical difficulties. Oh, you got to put it in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. Oh, good at that. That's Mike stand in the hole. There you right. go. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right. You got too excited over the I facial know. flex. I was like, what? Is that <laughs> what that is? <laughs> all right. Uh, oh. The facial flex. It's a facial toning exercise tool. <laughs> True? You got to sell it on air. Make it yeah, work. Go. Good. <laughs> okay, so wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me let me step back. I just want to clarify. So, what what if I was to like uh, sell it like in a break rather than a commercial read? Because I would have to like write like a script out if I'm going to do like a commercial. Oh, you can't read. just fire it off. Come well, on, sell this. We got to buy that product. Wait, you, Put the you picture to... back up. Okay. <laughs> wait. You, want, you want me to take the reins on this one? I'll run with it, and we. we okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. To. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess I, the team think, can discuss. I think it should. We should pitch it. Right, so if you're like trying to pitch it, are you gonna do the commercial for it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the like the voiceover for the. For all the right, all right, do it, do it, go, go. All right, ready, Daddy? We're go good? ahead. No, no backup music. I feel, uh, I feel cheated. Uh, <laughs> you don't need it. You Get should. on it. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we win, ladies. There, there's a reason your man cheats on you. <laughs> And honestly, let, let's just be truthful with ourselves. It's your lack of, of mouth muscles. <laughs> there's one thing, one thing we could offer is just every once in a while, give them a goddamn BJ. But we understand it, it's hard. <laughs> so we want to give you our new device. It's the BJ stretcher. <laughs> Stretches out them, the pleasure zone of that, that blow job. Get, you, get your mouth all around it. Can I get that photo back up? Good, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's easy, as you can see. It's blue easy. Got it, got a graph in the bottom there. Scientists said it was easy, so we put it up. <laughs> nice and cheap. We're only going to sell it for twenty nine eighty six. That's our price. The retail value, of course, $39. What a deal. What a deal. Gentlemen, buy this for your wife if she talks too much. <laughs> oh. She can still use her mouth, but there just won't be any sound. <laughs> Once oh. again. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, very, all right. Very easy. All right, here. Wait, round of applause. All right. <laughs> Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very right. good. Strong first, first go at it, right? This is one of his favorites. So, <laughs> yeah, I do like all this right, one. Brandon, Delegate. you got to step up to the Delegate. plate. Me? Oh, sh- de- oh, Delegate, oh, delegate. Why is this? All right. Uh, oh, same product. Unless you want to take the time to or ask same Team product? Brandon if you want to throw it to one of your teammates. No, same product. Same product. Yeah, same product. Same product. You got it. You got it. You got it. Same product. Who sells it better? Can, can you get the picture too? I feel this yeah. is yeah. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. he deserves a picture. I inspiration. I do need a picture. Yeah. I do need a picture. <laughs> I mean, unless only the unless only the white team gets a picture. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I said okay. privilege. I, I, I we got to do it by I, memory. And I can just start whenever. Right? Give him yeah. a little tone. Okay. Tone to play off of. Okay. Okay. Hello, America. It's your boy B. Freezy, and I need to talk to you about something very, very important, and that is the duck face. You cannot take a picture without doing the duck face. Now, I'm serious, ladies. You know this is the sexiest thing in the world. Men hate on it, but the truth is, they love it. Notice all the guys with money, all their bitches have duck face on Facebook. (laughs) Every single one of them. It's the truth, ladies. It's a trend. It's what's going on. Now, some of you say, well, Freezy. I can't do that. I'm not cute. I don't have the facial muscles. My mouth doesn't work that way. Well, we have the product for you. We have the facial flexor Izer Matron 2000. We've got it for 29.86 right now. If you call right now, right, 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 right now, we'll give you two. We'll give you two of them. So that way. You could tell your homegirl, look, this is what I've been doing. I fixed all of my problems. We've got everything under control. I can do what I need to do. I can take my proper selfies. My thirst traps are on point. I'm getting a million comments on Facebook. Ladies, I'm telling you, this is the product for you. You need you to call you right now at 800-333-BLOW-ME. That is 800-333-BLOW-ME. Now, look, ladies, this is from your boy, Freezy. I'm telling you, the sexiest thing in the world is that duck face in the picture. Because if you got the duck face, you got the fuck face. So once again, 1-800-333-BLOW-ME. That is 1-800-333-BLOW-ME. If you call right now, immediately, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Pick up that phone and call your boy Freezy right now. We will give you two facial flexor, Iser, Matron, 2000s. (laughs) 
in your mailbox. That's point big. has to go, Which Brandon. <laughs> Round of applause. Woo! Cloud ship gets it. Dedicated. That's pretty want, good. I want two of those. It's pretty good. Who's who's next on t- Team White Privilege? <laughs> I think let's, 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 let's okay. take it back. Wait, hold on. Can, wait. I need to know who product? I'm going against <laughs> if I go. No. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get the product. The next so product. Say, no, no, no. You gotta you gotta pick who yeah, it is, no, man. Who's all right, all right. Yeah. Here, I'll take this one. Fire seat. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll take it. You got this one. Put it up. Okay. Okay. Who's up? Let's go up against. I'll go. I'll go against Tony over here. Tony versus Drew. Here we go. Winner goes first. So Tony, you're on deck. Oh shit. It is uh the the, the boob and placer thing. <laughs> Apparently oh, to I help this one. to help sagging, there's this device that you press between your boobs uh, as you sleep and it keeps everything kind of in form. Okay. All right. All right. Ladies, do you have big ass titties? <laughs> it is so difficult walking around with back pain, always having to wear your bra so your tits don't sag. Well, fuck that shit. If you are sleeping, we could help you out. I don't know if you know, but there's been breakthroughs in boob technology, boob watching technology to be specific. Cylinders in the middle of tits keep them from stretching. And we have one. Can, can we get my picture back, please? <laughs> <laughs> we also have a brunette who is modeling it right now. Brunettes love the cylinder tit, not sagger, middle <laughs> cleavage thing. <laughs> the name needs work. The name needs work. I will admit that. However, your big ass titties will never stretch again. Call me right now. <laughs> Call me right now. Five five nine five 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 five. We were well, we're, well, we're only going to give you one. Right, it's actually we, we can't afford two. It's we actually already got two titties. Four nine two zero oh, four five zero. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That, that's my run at it. Big ass titties. Oh, that was pretty damn good. Yeah. All right. I want some big ass titties. I'm so All glad right. he went. It's Tony's turn. <laughs> In Japan, we rub on big American <laughs> women. They're so curvy. They have a cover like a Japanese women don't have. <laughs> so we like to do a dirty thing with them. So we, we want them to train and practice. So we make the product for them. So that we work at the tita job, I think you call her in your, your pornography. You call her a tita job. So we make a tita job a trainer. It's a tita job trainer. Can we have a picture back, please? Oh, God. Oh, please. Everybody, Rook, we make a fresh color so you, it look like a penis. So you're comfortable. You come up comfortable with a tita job. And then sometime at night, if you don't want to do a tita job, you just keep it there anyway so your bigger booba stay bigger booba. <laughs> They, they have round, they stay round. We don't want to make a pancake boob. We don't know. In Japan, we don't write a pancake boob. Oh, so please call now. 559 492 0450. We will send you two. Because we want you and your bigger breast of friend come together. Thank you. Okay, internet, I need your help. God damn it. No, you don't. That's not fair. <laughs> wait, wait. If we're white privilege, that's unfair advantage what he just did. I know. Oh, fuck that. That's and he's got fair. Asian privilege that's, on top of that. Yeah, yes, Asian privilege. Privilege. Fuck that Asian privilege. I just, this is the, the fucked up part about it is, is Tony is on my team and I agree with Drew. Because how the fuck do you do the perfect Japanese accent? Give me Chinese, Tony. I bet you pull that out your ass. Too. Oh, you want me to do Chinese accent right now? You call a Chinese restaurant right now? What do you want to order? You like a chow mein? You want a pork oh or chicken chow mein? God. You know how I know I'm not racist? Because I understood the difference between those two. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I got to give the point. Tony. <laughs> <sighs> it just, the white man ain't gonna get a break in this world. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> Team Freezy, Dude. baby. I don't know, man. It's, it's not looking good for the white folks. No, uh, no, 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 I don't no, know. No. Right about now, this ra- this next round is gonna be less. <laughs> feeling okay, kind of <laughs> it's gonna be now Cotty versus God. Kenneth. I'm gonna su- no. I'm gonna call in a sub. Oh. You got this. I got this call is, a sub. This you got this, Kenneth. You got this, my friend. No, I don't. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Cotty, we believe in you. Cotty has to go first because... Why? The team not privileged won. <laughs> Your product... Twice. Yeah, they beat us both times. Your product is the dumbbell utensils. They're weighted utensils as you eat. <laughs> Cotty, go ahead. Uh. I wish I'd have got this one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where you take it to. Yeah, I'm already there. Yeah. <laughs> Cotty, yeah. just go with your heart. I might need some time catching up. <laughs> or go with your stomach. Whatever you want to do. 
<laughs> Just go. You know what, girl? <laughs> I love to eat food just like any other girl. I know you like it. You like it in your mouth, but you feel so goddamn guilty. Guilty, I mean, you know, I can't sometimes say the word right, but whatever. <laughs> When that pan dulce rolls around and then that pozole, just the tamal and tamal, tamal <laughs> after tamal, you know, you feel guilty. So you buy a gym membership and you never go. But you know what? We got the thing for you, girl. We got this fancy workout utensil shit. And it's like it's stainless steel and everything. So, you know, you know, it's legit. So now, when you're eating your tamal and your pozole, you don't gotta feel guilty, girl. We got you. We got you, boo. I don't know if I can beat this. <laughs> we got I you, can't. girl. Don't feel guilty. I can't beat we this. don't got a name for it because, you know, we're all about the food. <laughs> no telling but it's gonna make that. your life better. It's gonna make you find a man. <laughs> gonna make your tits look all you know jazzed and shit not jizzed i said jazzed and shit. she said tits i can't win that's my girl <laughs> well, of course. She said all right get it earlier <laughs> no no just do it do no. it as a chola <laughs> no or just be, be the british infomercial guy you can do that do it as a ginger oh one. yeah I, Ginger Chola. I'll just be screaming at the microphone. <laughs> Please don't. I'm gonna Ginger. have to pass on this. I was gonna go, dude, bro. No, you can't nothing, pass. Nothing I've got will beat what she fucking did. <laughs> All right. Well, then uh, I guess Team White Person. Challenger. Lost. Really? Anybody? Really? No, we'll consider. Come on. Change, no, change, team, change, change, change Team, team White sub, sub in. Okay, no, I would tell you where I would have taken it. I would have been like, is your asshole too loose? Because you can train that butt. You can get that butt into shape. Babe, do you need to fit things in that ass? Well, <laughs> there are cylindrical <laughs> utensils and a new practice from India in which that you could feed people with the power of your anus. Oh, yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> are you so? That's where I would have taken I would have gone like, dude, bro. Like a total dude, bro. Like, no. dude, bro. Dude, bro. <laughs> Kenneth, like, check out these dude, bro, is toys. you. Do you want to like I'm eat not fucking dude, and like bro. work out at the same time, bro? <laughs> well, not dude. Not do you looks. lift? <laughs> do you like you even lift, bro? Do you eat? See, this isn't fair it's because gingers aren't privileged, even though they are white. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or the black people, the white community. But right now, <laughs> I'd have been like, hello, man. We are on a three-zero run we right sure now. Are. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Tell me again about white privilege. Yeah. Uh, so did I get a point? Change it to team yes. white guilt. Yeah. Okay, who's next? <laughs> a win's a win, Cody. A win's a fucking win. We're going to five. Oh, my God. Who's I'll, next? I'll, I'll go. Okay, Kevin versus... I'll go. There you go. Oh, uh, Kevin and Brandon. I repeat. I've seen I you guys... He, repeat. I've seen you guys go against each other online, yes. so this should be interesting. Do it. Well, the first one was pretty solid. Do it. But he, right. he, he, he deserved it. He, the first one was pretty damn solid. I was I didn't know I was going to win that. Do I it. wasn't all that like, confident and shit. He did fine. Yeah. I wasn't he fine. Okay. You got me to call, so... We have a quota here, so... <laughs> I, I pulled a card. I pulled right. a card. Guys, here I we go. I pulled the yellow card. I think Brandon's it. first, right? Brandon is first. Because right. we won and shit. It is <laughs> the... Oh, dear God, save us now. It is the baby the drool fuck? suckle. Oh, Jesus. Or no, no, the mocus... Uh, mucus. Moco. 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 Moco suckle. Doubles as a pump, uh, right? You could suck Moco the, the best... The, 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 the snot out of a child through a <laughs> that, straw. That's so wrong. And this is important because if you've ever had a child, they know you know that they just leak until they're five. Like siphoning yeah, gasoline. <laughs> Brandon? Five? Well, no, that's true. Six at least. Brandon, go. <laughs> My name is Dr. Brandon Freeman. <laughs> and I want to inform you about the newest scientific discovery. Snot. <laughs> More specifically, baby snot. <laughs> That's right, folks. Baby snot, apparently, by some motherfuckers in some lab in Japan. <laughs> They put out a study. I didn't read it. They're paying me to be here. I'm not really a doctor. (laughs) Apparently has as many nutrients as anything you can find. Even black water. And so what we've done is we've created a device for you to get these nutrients directly from their source. Did you knock up your chick? Well, we've got the product for you. 
<laughs> the Suckatron 9 million. <laughs> Order now, and we'll get you two Suckatron 9 million. Nine million Suckatron <laughs> Suckatron <laughs> One right. for each nostril. I'm giving this I fell, uh, I fell off Kevin your shot <laughs> Kevin go Can white privilege step up <laughs> In 2016 <laughs> white privilege step up Can we do it guys That one wasn't Can big. we can get, get one That one wasn't strong That one wasn't strong Hey single mothers <laughs> So you've made a few bad decisions in your life. <laughs> oh, shit. 19, got a baby. That's okay. Your parting days aren't over. Introducing the baby beer bong. <laughs> <laughs> Using the laws of nature and regurgitation, your baby can no longer be a loser. <laughs> They've been bringing you down their whole life. Time to get them in the mix. Party it up, baby beer bong. Simply drink the beer. The beer. Then vomit it and push it right back into their nose. <laughs> Developing babies, widely known fact that their nose is the quickest route to their stomach. <laughs> the esophagus doesn't mature up until the age of three. <laughs> Call now before we get sued. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I lose uh, AF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like White privilege takes a point. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Finally on the board. You know, it's like been, it's like the last eight years. We've been waiting for that chance. Yeah. Uh, it's been rough. Okay. And who's next? One president. And it's Kenneth. like they were oppressed. <laughs> Kenneth I say Cotty versus I Drew. I incapacitated. Cotty versus Drew? <laughs> yeah, do it. Isn't it Tony's what? turn? I don't care. No, no, no. It's Let's go Cotty Drew. This yeah. should be interesting. Oh, God Ooh. damn it. And with the win, Drew's going first. Yep. All right. What is it? It is diapers with an alarm. It's the baby poop alarm. <laughs> the diapers sense when the, the child has taken a shit. Hold on. Oh, you okay. couldn't give me this one? All right. Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> this one up. Sound boy chances. <clears throat> All right. Hey, parents, do you neglect your children? Yes. <laughs> do you need a constant electronic <laughs> reminder to this check why, on your child? This is why Brandon wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the thing for you. It's the... Baby's poop alarm. All right. Uh, you feed the baby. You put them on the ground next to some glass. Uh, you let them crawl around wherever they want. You just do whatever you want for like two hours. When they need to be changed, an alarm goes off. It's actually very, very helpful uh, to keep uh, your baby... Uh, <laughs> In case the screaming I, child okay. didn't give it no, away, I'm like editing myself as I go. <laughs> like, like, you're overthinking know, the poop no, no. alarm. But there's when, some things like even if I can cuss on a podcast and shit that you're not supposed to say, and I think that I'm gonna like when cut the line. Kids shit themselves because of the baby's, fear. Yeah. Uh, you broke the fourth wall. Yeah, <laughs> and, and babies crawling on glass. I think eh. I'd, have been, I'd, have, I'd have been like, oh man, okay, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm gonna let Cody go, and then I'm gonna do a look. I'm Cody go go, and then I'm gonna do. A guest, because he wants to dive on this one. <laughs> All right, Cuddy, get the picture. Oh God damn it! Help sees, help sees. What the privilege? <laughs> privilege. <laughs> Fucking privilege. Yeah. A white man bending over backwards. Come on. No, no, we're back on this. Do it as a chola. <laughs> As a what? As a chola. <laughs> you mean as a cotty. <laughs> Are we really just going to, every time it comes to her, do it as a chola? <laughs> do it as a British name. Well, you had the chance. Mary Pop. <laughs> Remember, you've cleaned my son's poo recently. Oh, sell this and product yours. DJ Voice Off mix. That would be great. That's Good true, marks. too. DJ Voice oh, Off? Jeez, that's one. a story I want to hear. <laughs> sell that. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Go ahead. Why are we talking about this? Per- personalize it. Oh, She's gonna cry. She's crying. She's crying, Dowdy. She did personalize it. That's just the commercial for having children. That's it's the millennial starter Connie, pack. Go. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. No, I need that up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, I'm going Prove it. Tony. Hey, girl. I know you remember, you know, you went to Sebastian's party on <laughs> December 7th because they were doing a festivist thing, you sabe que, but whatever. Well, that definitely wasn't me. Well, you know, that was last year, and now you have a baby and shit who shits all the time. But ain't nobody got time to clean up the baby's poop. You, I know you don't. 
You got selfies to take, dog faces to do on Facebook and shit. So you know what? Call back. We got. We made this super special hyper tech shit diaper thing for your baby. It's super healthy too. You know your baby's gonna be all smart and shit. <laughs> but it tells you it t- get this. It tells you when your baby poops. Now you don't have to clean up that shit when it's already running down to the ankle and shit. You still gotta do that part. <laughs> it tells you right away. I don't know how the fuck it works. She's Somebody told it. me it worked. And I tried it and it fucking works, man. <laughs> it's a it's a miracle. You can you can Facebook live and you can tweet all about it. You can tweet while your baby's pooping. You just gotta wait for that alarm. It, it goes smell. it goes to your iPhone or Android, whatever the heck you got. Even if you're on T Mobile, whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but, not, but, yeah, but not cricket. You will, you will never have to spend a matter. dime on diaper rash Damn, cream, that might man. be the best joke of the night. Your baby's gonna be super fucking healthy, just like the white babies. Oh. 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 Unfair again. Check your there it is. Body. again. Unfucking fair. There it is. <laughs> All right, I, I'm sorry. A point goes to team not privileged. <laughs> wow. All right. I got it. Look. Oh, my God. Okay. For bonus content. So by horrible. the way, bonus. for bonus content, go to longbox.fm4 slash pay us some money, and uh, you can you can see this. This is bonus content. <laughs> Brandon's going to do something that's, that's not politically correct. Extremely. <clears throat> What's good, y'all? You a parent? You an ain't shit ass parent? Well, I got the thing for you, boy. Now I know you be sitting in the living room, a little pookie, a little Ray Ray be running around, and you don't want to find them. You be smelling them. You don't even know which one it is. Well, look, we got the poop alarm. That's right. We got diapers. With shit alarms on them. I can't tell y'all how perfect this is. Now you can play Madden all day. And you ain't got to do shit except for when you hear an alarm go off. Now think about this, bro. Think about this for a second. Because I know Lakeisha done left you at the home with Pookie and Lil Ray Ray and them. And all you want to do is play Madden. Now look, I know you a parent and you ain't shit. We got the thing for you. Call 559-492-0450 and we will get you Three packs of poop alarm diapers. You won't have to do shit ever again. <laughs> Except for when the shit is in the poop. <laughs> shit is in the poop. I ruined it. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Right. No, it's wonderful. wonderful. May, may I point something out, though? Did okay, I, all I, the I, fucking accents are unfair. <laughs> How many true. goddamn times do I have to say this? He set this up, This man. is not Look, okay. This I'll, is right. I'll do the next one as Bernie Sanders. Uh, no, no, you, <laughs> say, you want me to follow that shit? C- 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 <laughs> congratula- congratulations. You've now seen an American election. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, right. no, 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 no. You know, All I'm saying is in regards to this I gotta decide Fuck this do Wait, I, It's stacked against us I do have a question It's stacked Uh-oh. against us Here Say it go. as a chola <laughs> 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 On that poop alarm <laughs> Is it reusable? <laughs> I don't I'm, think it must I'm be sorry. washable Does, Guys. It have, does it have Bluetooth? <laughs> no I can do a hand wash Is there a speaker on <laughs> it? We make Bluetooth Yeah it Bluetooth connects Tell me what the problem is with my child It Bluetooth It Bluetooth connects we make Bluetooth connect and connect to all mobile phones. <laughs> Samsung, Samsung oh, okay, iPhone. No, it doesn't connect iPhone. We were especially happy about it because they didn't have internet in the hood. But is it dry we, clean only? It's 4-1. <laughs> I think Brandon threw down some something solid. I think <laughs> mercy kill here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's fine. We're still going to All they're going to do is going to be able to throw out their fucking accents that they do, and then they're going to win. So no matter what, everything's infinitely more funny in an accent, dude. Like yes, Even if I was like doing a southern accent. I'll do a white people well, do accent. Like, gibberish. You want to do a white people accent next time? Like, what's a white? What is a white person's accent? British accent. Oh, like, I don't we'll have do one. British or, and Irish or accents. Or go southern or what we'll the go fuck is a wide person oh, yeah. to accent? <laughs> <laughs> Bam, we'll be the croc hunter. We'll be the crocodile hunter next time. Dude, dude, All dude. Right. I, the, the, it, it's so easy to do a white accent that I could do two white accents at the same time talking back. I and thought forth. you weren't doing two them different there. ones. You're not what? doing them. No, now? I'm saying like that. Like, like there, there, there's, there's a bunch of different <laughs> white saying, accents. There's one yeah. black accent. Think about okay. that. I don't know what no, you're talking we'll about. There's one accent, There's but different one, no, dialects are, 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 are the same you, accent. Are you, the, are, do, what, okay, are Jamaicans black? Mm-hmm. No, they're Jamaican. They're, they're, we they're could get island. into a very deep conversation about okay, why Jamaicans God, we are black. We just right. went there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. African Where are we going accent? here? Trigger warning. Okay, trigger warning. Trigger warning. All right. <laughs>
No, no, look, 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 look. All I'm saying, the one no, 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 here, here's all I'm saying. Here's hold all I'm saying. on, hold on. Okay, Brandon, go. Yeah. Okay, all I'm saying is the Jamaicans aren't black because, because of this. Jamaicans have a country they're from jamaica and that's where they trace their lineage back to my i know for a fact that my people don't come from america but i can't trace my ancestry back to any specific know. country because right. i don't know yeah, so they're, don't they're, know. therefore i'm just black because that's what you call a brown a dark brown skinned person with their roots that they can't trace <laughs> and <laughs> in america no 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 no, 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 no. this is perfect you. this is perfect so so that's why I, so that's why i would i would out of respect for that jamaican person not call them black because they're fucking jamaican jamaican all right right cool. you, you know what yeah, i mean so gotcha. no no don't, don't don't take their culture away from them right. by calling them black no 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 they're jamaican i'm black because america ain't no damn culture <laughs> it's, it's it's america you Look, know what if, i mean if you, if you want to speak with a white accent just talk like you're always trying stupid to, trying to open a bank account <laughs> <laughs> Or sell yourself in a go. job interview. <laughs> right, sure. right, exactly. I just got denied from getting a joint bank account with Cotty. God damn it! I they hope- ran my credit. And they're all like, "Yeah, we can't accept you." I'm like, "What do? You- Wait a minute! What?" So I hope that, I hope that didn't ruin my credit. <laughs> Wait, well, you really yeah. got denied? Welcome to after you. We're not even married yet. No, 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 no. Welcome to white privilege. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck damn, that. Right? <laughs> Dude, Chase won't even take me. <laughs> Here on Chase takes it. Yeah, yeah, but Fucking yeah, but Wamu. this is this is Fresno, so <laughs> Cricket's like, I'm not, nah. gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. That was. Ooh, Can we that just get back to the reward. fucking point that the Let's accents the are point. unfucking fair? The accents are hilarious. <laughs> well, you so. can bitch about it. We're gonna take I, a break. I am gonna bitch about it. Okay. <laughs> you got, you still got new, more new rock to do, and we have an end to this show. Something special I put together that I want to get on. Uh, the win goes to Team No Privilege. Yeah, No Privilege wins. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you guys in your And that advantages. wasn't a white privilege just <laughs> hand over to them. They seriously it's a, it's a war on, It's a war on Christianity and white people. <laughs> this guy didn't even I'm go to I'm just going to say it right now. It's what I, it is. I love that you hit me up and say, I don't, I don't want to be political. <laughs> I'm totally fucking with you. Oh, no, I love it. <laughs> I love this is We're all waiting to see who's go- agreeing. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, why yeah, does everybody... Right. Look, look, yeah, 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 but everybody is looking at me, though. <laughs> all right, guys. Fuck you. We're going to take... Yeah, yeah. Because you're the one that won, you fuck. Because he's the only not one white person here. Fuck you! <laughs> hey, we're taking our I'm last probably break. probably the whitest person here, but anyway, yeah, let's get hey, up out of here. shut up! Oh, okay. No, we're taking our last break. Uh, we're going to come back. We're going to finish up finish up the show. I got something special. Uh, we, we got something during the break. The GoFundMe. Look, if you like the Dirt Daddy podcast... This would be something maybe to look at because, you know, there are kids getting iPads for $2,400. I don't know why, but GoFundMe is an F you to everyone. White privilege be damned. Check out the video. We'll be right back. Dirt Daddy Podcast here for the last time in the Longbox.fm studios. Alright, what's cheating? Oh, fuck, man. That's the way I always talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're a what accent? I always talk like that. I don't, yeah. I don't know what you make me. I don't know. What you're Yo, what my you accent's gonna have to talk like a white dude, guy. Okay, you have no dude. idea how hard it was for me to be like, for me not to just be like, niggas! You know no, what? All the time, dude. It was really I love hard. you, but here's a tissue. No, this is a oh, yeah, oh, whatever. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> But we can't do it. You can have it this time, right? <laughs> that's where I draw my It's a show. Why not? But if I had time. If I had time. Build up songs that you gotta do, but we'll come in. I'll make everybody come in. Kevin, I want you around. You ain't leaving. Take a quick. Is everybody doing? 9:30. I know. Oh, it's Dirt Daddy Podcast. Drew, you can open your eyes. Dude, Sorry. I don't want seizures, man. All right, I need to do seizure warnings. <laugh
That's how we do our last. Really quick, really quick, really quick. I read about this. This is a real thing. There's an infamous episode of Pokemon in which, like, it sent like (laughs) thousands of kids in Japan to uh, the hospital for flashing lights. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it was the it was like the exact frequency or something. Yeah, it's just like the really the special. Yeah, I was in elementary school when that happened. Yeah, they hit it dead on. It was like the brown noise of lights. What do you? (laughs) What do you? (laughs) (laughs) So brown, the brown, the brown note. The brown brown note. note. The brown brown note. All right. Sorry. So normally we end this show off. <laughs> On a serious note, guys. Now normally we end this show off with uh, with Kenneth doing the tardies tonight. Uh, there were awards all around, but I, I I think you guys, if you tuned in, you heard the awards. You know what was funny. Um, <laughs> as I said in the start of the show, I dropped that bomb. This is the last Dirty Daddy podcast episode ever. Uh, we're <laughs> All right, time to move See on. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work anymore with your attitude, <laughs> you assholes. We're just done. Word. Uh, um, Fix my tood. <laughs> <laughs> The last couple of weeks, I've been spending uh, a lot of time and thought. I know Cotty's been upset because I've been a, a real bummer for the holidays. Yep. Uh, broke bummer. Yeah. But that's just normal. Didn't even <laughs> let me have fucking tree, man. Oh, you oh. bastard. Yeah, oh. she asked for Christmas, and I was like, well, I don't have my son, so we don't need to do it. What, are you a oh. communist? <laughs> <laughs> I'm white. Um, <laughs> Most commies are yellow now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn Yellow. fact. It's a damn fact. Thank uh, you for saying it. Oh <laughs> Yellow's um, the new red. Yeah, you said what everyone was thinking. <laughs> what? What I say? What I say? Are you talking about Teletubby? One point three billion <laughs> Chinese. They're all red. All right. Oh, so, fuck. <laughs> as I said, uh, it, it's it, we did the GoFundMe. We played the video here uh, before the segment. Uh, Barring a miracle, this is done. Uh, I just I need help, and I hate crowdsourcing. I feel like you're giving up. Um, you've admitted failure, or, or it is shutting down. So you'd rather just give up and shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, skip the whole ask strong the message. Part. I yeah. like it. That's defiant. Look, I don't want to be bitter, but I'm looking at GoFundMe in Fresno, and like a little six year old kid got a GoFundMe for an iPad, and he got twenty four hundred dollars. I've been open for a week and a half, and I got one hundred and thirty bucks because you don't have a That's kid asking gnarly. for it. Man. Yeah. I know a kid asking for it. You want some pictures? Put up pictures of your kid. Put your kid. Put your kid in front of the camera. You have all right. Tomorrow there will be a new GoFundMe. Me. <laughs> with a picture of my son on it. <laughs> no, funny you say that, actually. Uh, the video that's about to start, um, I spent all day putting this together. So it was playing constant rotation, the music and all that. My son cried uh, four or five different times. He came in and was like, so you're not going to do any shows anymore? And, and seriously pouring tears. Not that he watches them or anything. No, but he, he just he felt bad. The music... Is that good? <laughs> that you feel like, now? I think it just feels bad for Dad. I have a Kleenex box <laughs> Got a on joke the about table. That commercial. I guarantee Cotty's going to go twice. Um, all those millennial resumes. And here's something else for Festivus. <laughs> anyone knows uh, any Festivus show? I usually last use the last segment of the show to talk about my crew and how you know how I feel about them and in just that moment because these are really this is true emotional moments for me. This is not, and I, I'm an emotionless asshole. Um, Such an this is going to well. suck not doing this every Wednesday night. Honestly, um, I hope we can bring it back in some way. But I got to go. I got to work. Apparently, America won't just give you money because I I tried for unemployment and they won't give it to me. No, you have they're, to pay into that. Yeah, they're all like, why are you why are you unemployed? Because I don't have a job. They Did you have a job me. before? No, not really. So what do you do? I, I have a radio station. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's not going to work. That's cute. Yeah, yeah so. This is business. <laughs> I'm self-denied. Imp- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self-denied. You know what? Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. No. White yeah. privilege again. That's just a again. really fancy word for unemployed. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, uh, for for the people, and I'm sorry, I know Vanna had to be out tonight. She was taking care of Asa. He's got a show going on, and he needed her for that. Uh, Odette couldn't be huh. here. And it goes deeper than just the people who are in this room every Wednesday night. It goes seven and a half years back. So with that, let's go ahead and fire off this video. Hmm. I better be in this. I don't think I am. I have to be. It's a retard. I've been here like two weeks. (laughs)
Dirty Dotty podcast, something that uh, I started back in 2009. Sat in a garage with Vic and Kevin. Thought it would be fun. We always hung out as a group, and I wanted to do something that would help me out in my furthering a career in radio. And and it was an excuse every every week to hang out at least one extra night a week, all having fun. It wasn't meant to be too much more than just a silly podcast, but it kept growing and growing in, in the amount of people involved and just the, the fun that we would have. It became an addiction. This silly show brought along not only new friends, it brought my son, it brought relationships, it brought my, my future wife to me. The show was something that started off in an apartment and it grew, ended up in a mortgage company, in the back room, a conference table that we'd set up our gear every single night we would do a show, and moved into my living room, my old apartment, took that whole thing over, and eventually moved into the studio that we have now. The Dirty Daddy podcast went from being a weekly show where we interviewed people from the Valley to growing into going outside of our studio, putting on shows like the Festivus Festival or anniversary shows. Events with the idea of doing more than just music or, or something, we wanted to have something unique and big. Liquid Nitro Girls, show us some noise. How uh, have you guys out there? Is this your guys' first Festivus? It's hard to kill a kid in two days, so I just don't do it, right? They, they can't die of thirst in two days. You can't starve them in two days. You got to be a real asshole that your kid die over the weekend is my point. That's all I'm saying, you know? Since you came in, you're probably spending the last hour and a half looking and going, what the hell do I do with this? The best part of the Dirty Daddy podcast was everybody being there and being involved and putting their hands into it and really enjoying being around each other every single week. Our friends hanging out, having crazy times. That's that's the wrong hit, isn't it? <laughs> also, kid is life. Disco. That's how he says that. The thing I'm going to miss the most about the Dirt Daddy podcast is that camaraderie between everyone. It was a safe place where we could all come in and make fun of each other and have laughs, knowing that no one's feelings are getting hurt. Everyone walks out happy, and everybody looks forward to coming in the next week. You know what's funny? What the hell was you? Like, it's okay for me to like Hello Kitty, but not My Little Pony, too. Like, that's just one too many. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you want to do a bull semen. (laughs) (laughs) But since you want to get the bull semen, you do all the step already. I can tell you, you're already familiar with this. As you pull your hand out of the anus of the bull. As 2016 comes to a close, so does the Dirt Daddy podcast. That's sad. Saddens me. Truly does. And speaking for everyone, I know we're going to miss you guys the most. You guys who listen to us and participate, make comments, send things. That's part of what's kept this going so strong for so long. So we'll see what happens in 2017. But this is me, Chris Dowdy, saying for everyone from the past 
And now, word. word. So, awkward. Guys, guys, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. True. Where do True. I donate? After, after <laughs> watching. Wait, wait, wait. After, after watching that, I think that we can all agree that I'm the one that made this show what it is. I would say, yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. You mean Absolutely. ending? Yes, that, yes. That was your fault. That, that's, this is really, this was a labor of myself. No, we appreciate man. the sacrifice. I, I really hate it. I'm calling total bullshit on it right now. You know, I'm doing Drew. it on your own fucking podcast. Like, no, dude, you're just like so bullshit. Like, you're going to be back. Yeah, who's like, our guest next week? Weeks. <laughs> weeks next from- week, we got Aesop. <laughs> <laughs> nice Drew, work, girls. If only you could have come up with a decent accent. Oh, uh, you know? I'll give you guys a win. I'll give you guys a win. Your inability to make an accent, you failed. <laughs> it, you yeah, failed. You I know, right? Killed. It's not, it's, not even his, it's not even his inability to make an accent. It's, inabil- it's his inability to stereotypically mock his own culture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I've never done it. I've never talked shit on my own culture. I make fun of your people all the time. Yeah, right? Fun of my own people. <laughs> we don't have any food. We just hold our eyes real big <laughs> and we grumble a lot. That's all we, we do. We just stretch them out. Just talk. <laughs> We're all like, hamburger, Arr, Chevy. Yeah. That's all we do. Hamburger. All I know is that, like, look. Some of us are furred. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking say it. And then I know that you're calling it right now but i i strongly believe that this is probably not the last time you're going to be doing this you've worked really hard on yeah. this you're doing something that's on a local scene like just keep it up dude i mean it just keep just keep on going i don't know there's a couple of people going, think dude. daddy's I mean, full of well, shit on like this i said uh, <laughs> it would yeah. it would take a miracle here i uh, need some help some funding some th- social crowdfunding social funding whatever uh the gofundme account that you saw on the commercial before this segment uh or, I, you I'm know, gonna, if I could, if dude, the government's got money, right? And we we are supporting the local no. scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have money. They use it for Fresno stupid things. In this podcast. So let's mm-hmm. use Fresno stupid money for me. I'll totally do it. I'm going to help right now by going onto Can't Facebook and liking our page. <laughs> Mm. Seven and a half years later. Thanks, man. I, I can afford a life. We're totally saved. <laughs> You're on this okay. Of We're totally Sorry, it took that long, guys. Let me ask oh one question. God, that was it. That's all we needed. Before we bounce out of this, one question. Cotty, no tears? Seriously? Yes, I kept it pretty discreet. She but left from crying it up. Oh, she, by she, by she, the yeah. end, I did have to make sure one didn't enter the scene. Um, but yeah, it was kind of sad. I just kept thinking, wow, we have our own. VH1 behind the music. That shit <laughs> yeah. doesn't exist anymore. What the fuck, That's man? a shame. Bad timing. <laughs> Look, man. Are we going to be on a where are they now kind of a thing later? No, like, fuck that. that. That'd be fun. No. Those are all terrible, too. It's always like the Dirty Dotted Podcast and a bad Coke yeah. problem. Yeah. Tomorrow this guy died. No, no. Over. Tomorrow I'm going to 100 pounds. Everyone, again, my New Year's resolution oh, is to shit. get a promotion at work so that I can afford Dirty Dowdy. And all oh. of his dirty doubt. Oh God! Please, oh do. my God! <laughs> God. My, my resolution is to get a promotion at work. Round of applause for her. Do you want more? Oh God. All right, let's oh, do this. Hey, no. hey, keep it civil. Let's do this. I uh, know everybody has something to say. So, Tony, go. About what? Anything? Oh, I was just gonna ask. Like, do. do can we get more advertisers? Like, if we were to do that, can can we do this? Or I currently have an open advertising. Name your own price. It can literally be zero. This is probably why <laughs> this is done. But no one's hitting me up on it. It's kind of dumb. If you want your business heard, hit me up. Kevin, what you got? Man, 2016 was kind of a rough year. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it was rough. It was rough. Had a lot. Had a lot going on in the bar. As far as uh, uh, you know, expectation for 2017 is pretty low, um, so low that it's not even casting a shadow at this point. So here, here's to even 2017. Debbie, even Debbie yeah. Reynolds bounced out. Yeah, I yeah. saw that post earlier. <laughs> people were like, "Nah, we ain't having this." But yeah, thanks, thanks for putting the podcast on for eight years. That was cool. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> Kenneth, you're fat. Go. 
<laughs> fat and I'm tired of you fucking calling me that, Dowdy. <laughs> I love you, man. I'm tired of being your goddamn punching bag on this show. <laughs> You're not the only one. No, I'm pretty sure I'm the biggest one. No, I think I'm the biggest one. You're I literally the biggest one. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I like where no, this Brandon could say that. No, that came from a <laughs> black man, so you have to accept it. That's right. That's yes. why. That's right. <laughs> Brandon, you're safe. Uh, Dowdy or not. You can't say anything about me. That would just... <laughs> I'll get to you, Drew, in a second. Brandon, what do you want to say? Oh, man. Um... Okay, you know what? I'm going to be as controversial as I possibly can. Oh, Not what? Oh, yes. You're going to have four-letter words with the C. <laughs> I am shocked. That's like your biggest fear. I would just like to say that despite the mass hysteria of whining and bitching about 2016, <laughs> it was a great year for me. I went on tour across the entire United States. I got my girl back. I moved into a new place with my girl. Um, man, uh, yeah, Cloudship recorded a new album, released a new album. We confirmed our first festival. 2016 was a wonderful you year were for part me. Of I'm sorry, I was part of Festivus. You I met brought that, us yo, awesome I met the, con leche. I met, yes, yes, I did. Shout out to my girl Jamie because she's wonderful and lovely. That was bomb. Flash my ass and underwear uh, uh, to you on stage. But, 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 but. So, <laughs> exactly. so, so in, 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 in conclusion, um, y'all can bitch him on all you want to. Okay. I love 2016. And remember, everybody. Jesus was black. Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about nine one one. Freezy signing off. Uh, <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, Drew, for you, last thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, well, after all the years I put in at this show. <laughs> I mean, where do you start? You know? Yeah, where do where do I start? Um, I understand what you're doing, and uh, my year was great too. I had uh, a lot of changes happen this year. Uh, 2016 for me was personally probably the best year I've ever had. Uh, socially, <laughs> but, you know, uh, yeah. But, you know, for me personally, it was good. But, Dowdy, let me just say, um, I do understand the need to do what you're doing. Uh, I understand that personally, just why I do radio. I, under I get it. Thanks, man. So, uh, kudos to you for doing it for so long. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the new show on 2017. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll be in like three days. I'm looking forward to next week, too, yeah. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my final thing that we're going to really? bounce Really? You're out not going to ask me for my bit? <laughs> wow. She's bankrolling the Dirty Dowdy podcast. <laughs> That's a sponsor, <laughs> man. you got to let the sponsors talk. She resolves to. She That's gets a minute word. Right there. Seriously? Right. Shotty, she gets a minute. Go ahead. I'll wait for it. I know you got it on tap. Damn. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Fug Life Cody. No, honestly, 2016 was. It had some shitty moments, you know, like any baby, according to that poop alarm Especially commercial. Alarm Especially during year <laughs> two. Yeah, wouldn't the screaming kid give it away first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the smell of shit? No, yeah. some of them don't give a fuck. That's yeah. why you need to. Well, P.S. There was nothing before the P.S., but whatever. If it's a dowdy baby, the dowdy baby hides it mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So you would not know by the baby scream. Anyway, what the fuck am I talking about? What I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. Yes. 2016 brought awesome things. Riley's vodka. <laughs> Riley's brewing vodka treated me so well. And the high-speed rail. Also, got I got engaged. It. To who? To none other than Dirty Dowdy. Yeah, some sorry about that. It can't be all at, good news. You know what I mean? Look yeah. hey, uh, uh, I do have a pretty out. awesome ring, though. Uh, yeah. Bouncing out it. from this, uh, the internet does say uh, we should come back 2017. Jocko Tuesday says Dirty Cotty Podcast. Dirty the what? Cotty. The Dirty Cotty Podcast. Yeah. Oh, that's after we get married, though. No, that's no it's mine, it's <laughs> yours. <laughs> no. uh, it's a, it's a new format we've been tooling around with for like three minutes right now. Well, thank you to everyone who's been a part of my crew every Wednesday night, every Bad. Monday night, every uh, the nights that we do what we do here. It's mostly me. Yeah, it's mostly you. <laughs> and you're the bitch that goes, it's 9 o'clock, I gotta go. Yeah, um, man, I gotta work. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this. I do hope that Drew is right. We'll be back. You, dude, I'm, whatever. I will yeah. see you. We'll see you you better week. be right. Yeah, no. Hey, I'm calling it right now. 
there will be sometime in the next sixty days where there will be another one. We'll, you will rise Don't from the ashes. Me. Clash you will clash rise from the ashes. Yeah. The majestic yeah. fucking yeah. phoenix yeah. that you yeah. are. Yeah. You will not let this thing rest. Cla- Clashup is gonna get signed to Island Def Jam, and we're gonna get like a million dollar advance. And I'm gonna be like, hey, what is step on my moment, dude? And then you're <laughs> and then you're gonna bring Dirty Daddy with and, you, and right? Then a, oh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hashtag Daddy's full of shit. Yeah, you're like, wait, wait, wait. this is the last one. Well, Black I just want to talk about Clashup for a little. <laughs> Dude, Cloud about. Chip. Uh, no, no, no. It's, I, no. I was just making it. Dude. Oh, God. It's just a little thing. Put him on <laughs> it's just a little thing. No, no honestly, uh, a moment that you got to figure out when does it end. I'm glad I could choose my point. And that's it. That's all for us, Dirty Daddy Podcast, our old crew, everyone who's been a part through all the years. All, I think, 28 members now who's been a part of this staff. Thank you. And this is Dowdy saying for everyone. Word. 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 You've been listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. The opinions expressed on the Dirty Daddy Podcast aren't necessarily those of staff, management, or sponsors. The Dirty Daddy Podcast is a presentation of Longbox.fm.